Hello, everyone. Oh. Boy, this is the best part of the whole video. Everybody's watching and going, wow. I don't know what they would be saying wow about, but welcome. Welcome, everybody on YouTube. We're so glad that you're watching our video. Please put all your comments in the um, comment box on the YouTube channel. I know you're out there yelling at the screen. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, please. Uh, share. I know that um, Alan's probably watching from his villa in, in Venice, <laughs> his hotel in Venice right now, because, you know, I'm sure he has nothing better to do. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I mean, you know, I'd be doing it. I'd be like, oh, we're in Italy. I know that's Venice right there, but why? Let's stop and play trivia. Bob's got like really retto. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that. You're a little bright. Somebody's having too much fun with some toy he got. You're scaring the chickens. No, they, they can't see. Chickens can't see? Well, they're not in here with me yet. Oh, okay. Well, we don't want you scaring them. There, there we go. No, it's still doing it. Yeah, look at that. Well, that's a div. They're different. There's, uh, there's fade and strobe. Sorry, I can't. And something. There's a couple different things. And then you can just go. You can just go a solid color. So this actually this, and then you. This will go from red to more yellow. And these are lights on you or lights in the room? I'll show you. Hey, it's Mike. See, it's a oh straight. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got his Christmas lights all being up. Well, the Christmas lights are always there. This is a new thing I added. I found it in a TJ Maxx. It was like 13 bucks, and I had a $10 thing. So, Hello, Mike. Well, that looks really cool, Bob. Look, Mike is here, and it's Hello. here before. Like, wow! I'm just, I'm shocked. My and schedule has been a little different at work lately, so I haven't been able to make it as often because yeah. I have to be at work at uh, at eight o'clock Friday morning, which is I'm going to say five a.m. your time. So I'm still getting ready. I've only had a couple hours of sleep by that time. <laughs> And then next week, I of course have to go see the Guardians of the Galaxy Part Three. So I will. Oh, is that how, is that playing? I, I might be able to show up late in the late late in the show, late 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 in the game, and but. spoil it for everybody else who wants to watch it. Right? No, nah, we're we're gonna go. What day are we gonna go? We just talked about that. We got a day. We're gonna go. So I didn't even know it was playing. I think it'll be. I don't even know if I saw the second one. For sure, it was cute. Did you, you see, see the, the Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special? Yeah. Or holiday the, special. No. That was that was awesome. Yeah, that was you have to good. have Disney Plus though. Yeah. Or know someone who has Disney Plus. Yeah. Hang out with them. Yeah, you, you have to have a friend, Susan. I have <laughs> to have one. Caspian has it. And I had it for a while and I with yeah. him and I said, you know, I'm not watching this. I watched friend a couple of things. Now watch the, yeah, the, the holiday one is really funny. It's really good. I'm a very boring person, you guys. I, I lead a very, very bland life. Trust me. It's just all psychics all day. All psychics. That's it. They're all coming to visit me and try to kill me. That's all. <laughs> ah, sorry. I shouldn't joke about being murdered in my sleep, but now we're getting close to 160 games. What the with the frick. Do you have anyone down for next week's round? Jamie? No. I have to I not hold my hand up like I do. I, I, yeah. I have I have a round for next week. Okay, Carl. Okay. Hello, Carolyn. 
Hello. I'm looking forward to coming and seeing you. This would be really fun. Oh, yes. I get to go see Carolyn. This will be fun. Hopefully, I'm going to get some more people pretty soon. I know David Diskin will be there for sure because he's kind of at his venue. So, <laughs> it should be fun. Oh, we'll, be, we'll have fun no matter what. Yes. Looking forward to it. I just talked to somebody else today that's going to come too. So. Oh, excellent. Oh, everybody ready? Ready to start? I'll put you in your rooms right now. Boom. Go. Well, here comes Troy. I should put Troy in before I. I'm going to get you up on the. Oh, kitty cat. Okay, my laptop's coming. Brian Denning, um, Richard Saunders is at Brian Denning's house, and he just texted Brian Denning just texted me. He says, "Crocodile Dundee, and I have no idea how to join trivia." Just FYI, how can it be that? <laughs> People have specialties, you know. I mean, certainly Richard should not have any problem figuring it out by now. Well, it's a whole day early to him. <laughs> he's not even sure it's if this is the right time well he texted me about a half an hour ago and said um he says i'm gonna try to make it to trivia so let me tag them oh my god but Rich, richard has also said how much more he enjoys trivia when he's in the state's time zone because you can drink <laughs> invite Richard Saunders. Oh, where are you? There's Richard Saunders. Brian Dunning. I have to put him on the same. They're sitting and drinking. He just sent me a picture. Did you watch the clip today of uh, Brian's the UF movie? They no, don't no, there's a clip. Yeah, Beyond with um, Mick West, which no. was kind of funny because Mick West talked today. At Skeptical uh, Inquirer yeah. presents, so it was kind of like, well, this is interesting because I already saw some of it. There was a lot of math involved. Okay, let me see. Talk today, and I was just like, <laughs> oh, God, no math. You'll lose everybody right there. Okay. Not so the clip, but wait, it's, not the, it's not the, um, well, what did you look at if this is not, what's it was on the email? It was the skeptoid email. Oh, dear. Where is that? Uh, let's see. Darn it. I'm not seeing it. Let's see if I can find it again. Does it say forward it to me if you do? I get the skeptoid emails. Let me see if I, I do with it. Let me see what happens. Where was it? Oh, there's people I should be paying attention. Bob is other thing events. Do we call him Vince? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we ever call him Vincent or oh, Vince or Vincent? I don't know. I think I always call him Vincent. Um, Hi, Troy. Where have you been? I have Collins a Yahoo. Been on here for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> You've been really quiet. 
So I saw you on the, oh, we have a new person playing, or is that somebody who's played before? I better look real quick. So I saw that uh, you're commenting on uh, uh, Robin's page about uh, Tiffany. Yeah, that- I, It's probably, we're probably gonna lose it. It's going, yeah. She better copy the text of it if she wants to save some of it to put it in another article. Susan, I sent it on your Yahoo. That's the oh, excellent. Yellow. Okay. Yeah. Were you asking what to call me? Yes, to say, you say, just call me for, review. call me for, don't I, call I you voted, late for dinner, right? Or call me late for I dinner. I voted for Vincenzo. No. Well, don't call him Shirley. Don't call me yeah. Shirley. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, here true. it is. Yeah. 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen this. Thank you, Carolyn. Um, that is true. Don't call me late for oh, dinner. Oh, it says, please do not share or post this link. <laughs> I didn't share the link. I shared the email. There's a difference. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so then... Okay. Oh. I'm supposed to give him this link. Where's the link? It's like 20 minutes. So, did your cup say Trump? Who? Carolyn's. Yeah. Oh, cup. it says she's got the funk, buck, trunk, trunk, trunk. Buck trunk. It's the, it's the needle point. Wow, cool. How come it looks so much bigger okay. than my normal one? Is it really that big, huh? Because it's close to the camera. It's close to the camera. No, see. <laughs> Oh, it just still looks different than mine. <laughs> That's great. Sit back and then hold the cup up next to it. And so it looks like your head is the size of a cup. The other way <laughs> That's called an in-camera effect, if you know anything about movies. Ooh, that might be somebody's trivia thing today. We better not talk about it. Yeah. It might be my trivia thing today. No, yeah. it's not. Brian says that uh, yeah. Richard's drinking. That's a pre that's a pre spoiler. How could that even be a thing? You want to get in there? Yeah. I think we should be able to talk and if some we mention something and somebody gets an answer, eh? Yeah. We, we control everything. You know, yeah, I feel like I have more random. screens open than normal. I don't know. But I actually I probably don't. So we need to Okay, I gotta uh -huh. remember to look at I this. I hope people like my questions tonight. Um, oh, are you doing a category tonight? Yeah, I am. At least I thought I was. I don't have to, but I haven't looked. Let me see. Okay. I don't really know who's tonight. Yeah, you're on. Lynn's on first. Yeah. I'm sure she's here yeah. early. I'm here. I'm here. There we are. <laughs> I'm nervous because I think you know the hardest thing about it is. Try and decide if something's going to be too easy or too difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all have had that exact it's same. Very problem. difficult assessing <laughs> other people's knowledge of something. It does. Yeah. I do know that's part of it, but I, so I erred on the easy side, I think. <laughs> Probably better than having enough. everybody it's pissed off. Good way to start. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. I was my <laughs> thinking. <laughs> he always says that. She always says, I thought these would be so easy. And then they're not. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have. Uh, we'll see. There, okay. you could, so, some people have the uh, attitude of, I don't care. I'm going to ask anything I please. If, you know, I don't care. But at least that, that 110 killer is uh, is allowed, I think. It's a kind oh. of expect. Just a, <laughs> <laughs> one, in kid, one in 10, what? There's one in 10, 10, ten killer. killer. Really, ten uh, killer. The, the hard Figured question out. that nobody gets. Nobody yeah. gets. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You say it you is, never, it, so you max out at nine. Yeah. Yeah. It is really hard because you're like, how do I, sometimes people will go and they'll ask way, like they'll put the question out there and then they'll say, I better give more hints and I better give more. Hints. Oh, okay. I might have done that for a couple. <laughs> yeah. But maybe you not. Know, and, maybe they were needed. Maybe they were needed. So. And, and after, after the thing, then you come up with ideas. Well, I could have done this, which would have, it would have still been challenging and made it a little easier or, yeah, yeah. or whatever. So it's a learning. Yeah. It's a learning. Yeah. Process. I'll figure it out. <laughs> not that I've done enough to learn anything. Is that your real place, Carolyn? Because if it is, it's really nice. No. Oh, 
Oh, gee, just oh, put her down. Oh, it's oh, it's bag end. Yes, bag end. Bag end. Everybody, there's a place up in Alberta that uh, actually has themed rooms that, like, right in the hillside. That would be very cool. Yeah, I I don't know I don't exactly know where it is, but yeah, it's somewhere, somewhere close to where I live actually. So, but it would be neat to uh, drive there. But the, but of course the rooms are like astronomically expensive. So I would imagine, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> so it's like, well, I can't go to that. <laughs> Troy but, needs to mow her lawn. <laughs> like i want to just go out there to whack those things down or maybe trace is very small <laughs> yeah. like and is very tall it's just, it's like a hobbit yeah. like a hobbit yeah. oh, i've been to i've been to hobbiton here comes bill i've been to I hobbiton know. in um new zealand <laughs> wherever it was oh my gosh it's so pretty but it's so it's like manicured you know you can see people are constantly working on it and it's and there there is no hobbit holes they're all just like facades it's so sad yeah. <laughs> no I it was so sad. no no they they were instructed to uh put the land back the way it was found kind of thing by the government the government said yeah you can work on it so long as it gets put back the exact same way you found it with exceptions they were able to they were able to use it for um museum purpose kind of thing for tourism yeah it's oh i'm sure it's a big money maker <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah there's lots of people that travel there and i'm sure that tourism will Many increase as the covid restrictions get um lessened so they are getting lessened i think so i think they're getting a lot less look at bill eating a sandwich in front of the grand canyon i mean he's not even looking at the view what's wrong with you you got your back to the view i've got a mirror so rob has some interesting writing behind him uh and yeah and he's been, and he's got a category tonight so you should be worried it, it translates to here sits Rob Palmer. <laughs> Back from vacation. <laughs> it translates to all good things must come to an end. Uh, the quick brown it, fox it jumped over the end. lazy dog. <laughs> That's it. All good things must come to an end. Uh huh. Uh huh. <sighs> I don't know if it's where you're living. It's beautiful, but my God, it's beautiful right here in Salinas. The weather has been incredible, and my flowers are blooming, and it's Same just so San pretty. Hmm? Same for San Diego. <laughs> for, I mean, it's been super gray here since all through February, March, most of April. And the last week, it's been beautiful. So we're, we're happy. Do you have a garden too, Lynn? I do. I it's uh we have a kind of a big yard, so it's more than I can manage. So we also have somebody comes in every couple of weeks and helps us. But we do. We have some flowers, and this year not many vegetables. One one tomato plant. So oh, so, so, so you just planted a tomato plant, or is it a one from last year? No, I did have. I we just tore one out that was planted three years ago. Wow. And it kept producing, but it was down to like Didn't three or four very tomatoes. Much. <laughs> Last year, it only did like yeah, three or four early, tomatoes. Early in the pandemic, we thought we were going to be get serious into gardening. We planted all this stuff and it really didn't work very well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm more the gardener than he is in terms of enjoyment. And uh, I came down with melanoma on my scalp and had to have a rather big surgery on my scalp. and. Um, right in the middle of the gardening season so we were still <laughs> so watering I, I stuff i know but i, I think, bend just over and I do think our yard just doesn't get enough sunlight or there are sun yeah we have trees around uh, okay. oh trees are nice though yeah, you know, I know. Some, i'm happy yeah. i'm happy with it i don't care i'll well, buy a i've got, I've got a smallish backyard i mean it's i guess california wise it's about 
And I always like I said, it's kind of smallish, but I've been fussing on it and fussing on it and fussing on it. And I could just spend my whole day just out there, just moving pots around and pulling weeds. Oh, and just yeah. happy as a lark out there. Yeah. I don't get to do it as much, but I have been planting tomatoes. I've got, I've got vegetables going in this year. Oh, good, good. It's going to be I mean, nice. I'm going to do it gradually. I put one tomato plant in and then we'll see. If I have time, maybe I'll buy a zucchini plant or something. Yeah, my I'm, not, I'm, I'm not a serious gardener in any. No, I was my just rose is really happy this year. Like super happy. What is? My roses are really happy. Oh. oh I, love I love roses, love but it. they're such a bitch to pay, take care of. They are. I, I've gotten rid of them over the years because they just, it's always aphids and, you know, you put insecticidal soap on it. It's like, God, I always got to put insecticidal soap on these things. <laughs> to grow, grow them right they're gorgeous though i have some cecile yeah. bloomers on uh that's the only rose i have left mm. but i sure love roses other some people of them, some of them came from my my parents yard one of uh, one was a cutting from my great grandmother's oh neat you managed to keep it alive love. so we love we trans uh we transplanted it here so that most of the roses in my yard are older than i am because i i brought them over from my parents Wow. I wish I'd thought to do something like that before yeah. we saw my mom's house. Yeah. Mm. There's Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi. Here at your beautiful resort again. Everybody's got these beautiful homes behind them. Oh, oh look it. Ron's here. I can't seem to get into the meeting. Why not? Is there is other people having problems too? It may explain why there's not so many people there. It's so and it's after 9.15. Yeah, yeah, it is really yeah, odd. I, I had a huge problem getting it. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> liar. Liar. You're a liar. I am a liar. I'm proud of it. <laughs> Why? I'm a I'm, I'm a teller of tall tales. Or shrank really? dogs, depending on which you prefer. Yeah. Teller of tall trains. Tall yeah. trains. Speaking of train, I was on board the trains today, uh, going up alongside the Sacramento River. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it was 90 degrees. Well, you're up in Sacramento. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, um, but it's still it's a cool April. day. It's still April. Sacramento. You guys, if you guys don't know, Sacramento is just miserable at the time <laughs> of the year. Yeah. Just, just not fun. It's there's times you go there, and there's times you avoid there yeah it's well so hot ick i know thanks hi ron how come you couldn't get into the thing i don't know it just kept saying that uh <laughs> waiting for the host to let me in waiting for the host to let me in and then finally suddenly it let me in oh i uh, same thing happened to me I, I had to join the meeting three times until i got through interesting well yeah. let's here in the future jamie we, we've oh, raised our standards <laughs> <laughs> not, not by much i'm still here <laughs> so, so ron is bernice gonna get together with puro because luann's a horrible match for puro i i would think so but i don't quite know where they're going on this one. Oh my gosh it's taking forever <laughs> yeah i don't puro's messed up dude he's got like a star on the side of his head and I'm sure he's a nice guy and he's very shy and very, you know, but yeah, he's not Luann's type at all. And what, if, what, if, it's a, what if it's a category? Quiet. No, Ron's not doing a category. Yeah, that's why I want you to be quiet. Yeah. Category. <laughs> no, I, I just, it's just, I don't know. You are, do you reading Sally Forth too? oh yeah that's been really fascinating too the relationship with her mother and finally it looks like it's about to and, and that one's that one's appropriate because my mother or my wife's going to her mother's uh on saturday for a week and the relationship at times reminds me very much of the same thing is mary worth still around i don't even know no i don't think so I don't like that comic soap mary worth i never read mary worth it's probably been about 50 years since i've read it 
Mm-hmm. I don't think I ever did. I only read Rex Morgan because I said, all right, these things have been around forever. I want to see what it is. I'm going to give it a month. And I started reading it every month, you know, every day. And you get into it. It's just, it's kind of addicting. I interviewed the guy who does um, Rex Morgan too. His name is Beatty, something Beatty. I gave, I interviewed him for Skeptical Inquirer because he wrote an article. One of his themes, one of the themes was on pseudoscience. So I, I interviewed him. He's a very nice man. And um, I got a little history of the, of the cartoon thought wow i'm talking to this guy who's written who's who, who runs rex morgan <laughs> it just like is he the original or is he someone oh no. taking over it's yeah been around like I mean. 80 years or something that's what i thought yeah mm-hmm. he's uh, taken over he was an illustrator for a while and then he just took over the the plot too okay well is, Bob, uh, is rose's rose still on still around? Yeah, oh, yeah that's still around. Oh, yeah. i don't i don't what read was, it um, that one i do read guy. He lived um, seven miles from where, from where I lived. It, actually, in the, a town called Sycamore, and it's actually where I was born and uh, lived till I was like two. Hmm. But yeah, he had a little like an office downtown, you know, upstairs at one of the old. And you don't still follow there. the cartoon? No, I I don't I don't I don't have time. I, oh come on! Like two seconds. That's called no. morning. That's like a third of a wordle. No, no yeah. I do. I do that too. <laughs> I do. Um, I do wordle, spelling bee, the mini crosswords. Nothing I have to pay for. And then I do portal. And now they have. Uh, it's called sequence. It's oh, portal, yeah. but you only do one do one it. box at a time. Once you solve the first one, then it'll show you the next one, but with all the guesses that you made for the first one. Hmm. Yeah, I so, like that one. I do like yeah, that. I like yeah, I haven't and clicked I, on that link yet. I haven't got sucked into my, that one. With my system, I usually get it in eight. And it doesn't, Portal gives you 10 chances, and I still get it in eight. So it looks like I'm doing, you know, better than. Yeah. Hi, Peggy. But, uh, there's Peggy. She can see the George is barking. <laughs> George. Let's go for walkies, George. Hmm. Dogs can answer two questions. What is on the... top of a house? Roof. And the wolf. Side of a bar, a tree. And, uh, the, the bark of a tree. Yeah. My cat says thank you. <laughs> Hamilton says thank you. Wow. <laughs> Yes, because every time if you open the door for him or you do anything like that, he'll always say, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun because I'll hear Mark going, you better tell me thank you. And he'll open the door and he'll wah, wah. That might be para- audio pareidolia because it sounds like F you to me. With some <laughs> <laughs> no, he's saying thank you. No, I don't think so. It's oh, something you. No, no. Hamilton is a good boy. <laughs> wherever he is i only have one cat in here right now so life is weird it's just susan's translation of wah wah that sounds wah-wah. like that rob <laughs> that's how uh, that's how geckos sound here here we have something called toke geckos which mm-hmm. are about two feet long no and fucking way do they climb your walls yeah outside they're about two feet long they're huge outside and yeah, they look like alligators and um they're called fuck you fuck you geckos because when they bark they say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> well, this is taking a turn. <laughs> if I saw one of those climbing up my wall, I'd be the one saying, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they don't yeah, climb like, inside at all, ever, right? They're only on the outside of your house, right? They can get well, inside. No, no, we had one come inside the house. We had a window open by mistake. And there was a war between my wife and this gecko. And they're both <laughs> screaming at each other. And my wife <laughs> <called>. Gecko was <laughs> saying, fuck you, fuck well, you. Well, well, did it try and sell you any insurance? <laughs> that, that's the deal. I was wondering about that. That would be the most annoying thing about it. What does she do? Does she sweep it out with a broom or what does she do? Yeah, she, she took a broom. It. Yeah, she took a broom and she swept it out, but they were both yelling and screaming at each other. They, they, can get, they, get, very, they get really angry if they're, if they're <laughs> tempted. Yep. But, but don't they? Don't they eat the gigantic tropical insects you have to deal with? 
They do. They do. When it, um, when, it, when the rainy season comes and the big they gnats, they the come money. outside and they, um, yeah, they sit outside and attack all the bugs. But oh. they're, you know, they're about two feet long. They're oh, huge. Geez. Look at, did you oh. see there's Brian Dunning and, and some guy from Australia. <laughs> what do you guys, you're going to sit there and, and play trivia on that little screen together? We're, we're trying to, to sit that close? To the name to say both of us. Try this. You don't know how to do it? No, we're idiots. Okay, here I'll do it for you. <laughs> I think they just picked their their joint name. We're idiots. <laughs> just just put that. Put two idiots. Don't were, you, were you guys watching Mick West? I I've got it. I I've just got to watch, watch it. it now. Yeah, that works. There they are. And look Go at ahead, the Donna. <laughs> My only question is, which one is dumb and which one is dumber? I think that, well, according to the screen right now, Brian Dunning's on the left and you're on the right, so. Dumber. No, no the other way. No, no, the other way around. <laughs> your mirror, it's mirror. Richard's on my right and Dunning's on my left. Hey, we can probably mirror. Really? Uh, we're backwards. We see yeah. it the other way. Yeah, because you're backwards because you're well, dumb. See, if you weren't so, you know what? You would have said it right. So you see it. The oh, my way. goodness me. It's Rob Palmer, the well known skeptic who I mentioned on the Skeptic Zone podcast. Do you know I do a podcast, Brian? I, someone told me that once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what did they? One, one, of, one of the two <laughs> listeners. Yes, <laughs> you're the other listeners. <laughs> one, one, one of the reporters. I'm guessing five. Is it a five? Look at we get a nice picture of your your ceiling fan. Isn't that nice? We see his ceiling. Where's the pool table? Back there. There it is. You guys, I've played on that pool table. I kicked his ass. You know how I kicked his ass? His arm is in a sling. <laughs> oh my God, he is such a pool shark. I know, I've played with it. It's like, oh my God, now, has this person ever done anything but shoot people's pictures at JC Penny and then go to the pool hall <laughs> and shark people all yeah. night? You beat me. For 50 years. You beat me every time. When we went and played in Vegas, I got the, <laughs> we played nine ball. I got ball one to ball eight. And then you go knock in the nine. Hey, Susan. Yeah. Susan, this is what shut your eyes for a second. Are they shut? Now it's time once again to dive into those archives at Trove at trove.nla.gov. See the podcast voice. There you go. <laughs> I open my eyes now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look, I've got yeah, something. You open your eyes and Brian's gone. Isn't that good? Oh, I see. Okay, listen, listen to this. You guys can you hear this? No. 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 Wait. What is it? Can't hear anything. Sound of silence. But at my age, it's hard to hear anything. <laughs> what are we listening for, Susan? It's the gecko. You can't hear what? that? Yeah. You can't hear that? No. 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 It's a bunch no. of weirdos. Can you hear you saying, you can't hear that? How could you not hear that? I had it cranked up over here. Here, I'll put it in the chat. Troy just sent it to me, but this is, this is for everybody. So you can listen to your male gecko mating call. He does, he goes, ah, ah. that's what my cat's been saying to me. Okay. Ah, ah. I want to hear every, how could you not hear that? It's, it just it's, wasn't it's coming it's through. It, it, it cancels out background noises. Right. Oh, male gecko male greeting call, mating calls. That's what it does. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so I'm sending you guys to your rooms here. I'm tired of you already. So let me. <laughs> I oh, wait, wait, wait. I got one more thing. Yeah. Everyone, I know if you remember my topic from a couple of weeks ago, which was the colleges that my nieces got accepted into. Yeah. Where'd they go? Well, they are, well, Sarah, she, she, was, she had got early decision at the uh, University of Virginia, as you may remember. And my niece Mia just today told me she, that she is going to uh, Connecticut College. So it was on the edge of your seat. How does it feel they're going to be in totally, have they been going to different colleges for a while? Like they're used to, you know. They are, they are not identical twins in very many ways. So, so, so yes, it's. 
that's normal for them to want to go to different places. Yeah, they are they are very different uh, young ladies. But How exciting! Thing, I think we're gonna be gonna have fun. Ah, uh, Uncle Mike gets to I'm send him care packages. <laughs> help him out. Uh, okay, what am I gonna do with you guys? Let's see. What am I gonna do? Keep in mind, I can only stay for a few minutes more because I have to get up at like five tomorrow morning. Okay, gotcha. Oh, here comes a couple more people. Can I leave at nine? Next, next week, I'll be the first time that you will, no, second time that uh, I will not be on trivia. <gasps> oh my God. We should just cancel. Yeah, no. My mom uh, has an appointment at six. So. Just stay up all night. You know, you can always uh, put uh, Zoom on your uh, iPhone. Just play it I, in the waiting room. I could do that, but oh, I can see him now. You guys, might no, no he wouldn't be on his waiting waiting room. It, it's just that he has to get up early. You that's guys what. might be interested in this in the Zoom wise. It's really good thing Susan taught us all Zoom because now the court system is going to Zoom. I have jury duty starting Monday, and at least the initial part is going to be over Zoom. And they sent Seriously? me all these, all these instructions oh, wow. on how to download it, make sure these wow. tutorials yeah. how to, you know how to use it. I don't have to do well, any of that because I already have it. I know how to use it. You guys have had excellent okay. instruction. You guys should be able to kick ass and Zoom. So where are you, Rob? On the computer, right? Hey. The... Rob, you should do a bonus round with the jurors. <laughs> <laughs> we actually did a trivia game. It was it was the entertainment one night on the ship. And uh, I got the person who did it to send me to send me the file, and I will be using it next time. Nice. Oh, is that right, Rob? When you go to court, put a goofy filter on and claim you don't know how to get it out. <laughs> not a cat. I can't. I'm, 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 I'm not a cat. Yeah, do the gecko. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny as hell. Okay, let me see. Amy. Jamie's next week. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering actually what kind of Zoom background I can use so that they throw me off the jury and they never select. No, me. you want to be on the jury. It's so much fun. No, oh no. It's, it's, I have uh, hey Rob, I went through, I went through all this about a month ago, all the preparation, and at the last minute they called up and said, Never mind, don't have to go. Don't, no, even, have to do that. The, don't even have to do the Zoom call. That's what happened to Deborah the other day. I said, oh, she's going to be in my town because we live about a half an hour away, 40 minutes away. And I, she nope. says, I'm going to be at the courthouse tomorrow. And I, I'm I like, had, oh, great. We I've can have multiple, lunch. Multiple bad experiences in the selection process because I wasted a whole week in person yeah. in a sweaty, hot room yep. with no air conditioning. This was like 40 years ago in New York City. And they never select me. Uh, I, I go to the door. They ask me, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm an engineer. Oh, right back to the room. And <laughs> you have to stay the whole week. So finally, I got on a case and it went for two weeks. We got to hear all the minutia of detailed testimony in a medical malpractice case. And then they settled out of court at the last on the last day when they were going to do the arguments. And it was closed, so they wouldn't even tell us what the decision was. I was so pissed. <laughs> you should uh, demand your money back. Yeah. You should say, I it's like watching to a, a two-week miniseries and you can never watch the last episode and no one can ever tell you what happened. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just think other people who are on the uh, Dominion jury must feel. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. sure. yeah. Whole, yeah. Well, well, in a way, they're probably well, excited they, about they that. They got to no, this it's a little different because they got yeah. to hear the settlement. I couldn't. They wouldn't even tell us if there was a cash settlement or if it was dismissed. They wouldn't tell us anything. Well, they're their their whole. They'll be able to. Bra that's their fifteen minutes. They'll be able to tell that story for years. Oh, so, yeah. you heard about this Dominion suit. Right. I was on the jury. We were standing, we were sitting there and they had their lapels and they, and then they, boy, I mean, that's a good story, a party story for, for months. They yeah. should tell that. And by the way, I used to always tell people that they don't want me on the jury because I'm an engineer and they figure you're actually going to want it and have facts. <laughs> yeah, logic. You think they're going to put me on a jury now that I say I write for a skeptical inquirer? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I, I yeah. got, oh, I told you guys I, I got called for jury duty. And they picked me for grand jury, and it's been oh. rather fun. I want to do that. That's, that's I different. Be on a I would like to do that. Jury. Yeah, I would like got, to do that. We got to indict the guy who sold me my house. <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh, wow. Isn't there a conflict of interest there? <laughs> it I'm had so nothing nervous. to do with my house, but I got him. Does it seem <laughs> like you're right? Only... You shouldn't be able to do that. That's... We only need nine votes out of twelve to die. <sighs> so it wouldn't have mattered if I raised my hand or not, because everyone else in the room did. 
<laughs> oh, that's funny. Does yeah. the grand jury ever go against the prosecution and say they don't want to indict somebody? Um, once in a while, we actually have two attorneys that are in this group of 12. And one of them is this old lady and she's like, getting a felony is really serious. So, you know, like, unless she's really convinced they've got evidence, she <laughs> we got 11 other people. So. That how long do you want to, how long are you on a grand jury? Is it like a year? Three months, but it's every Tuesday morning. I can't help you there. I want to do it. Oh, look at them playing pool. Look at these guys. Yeah, I got somebody muted. somebody tell D&D &D that they're not muted. Okay. I'm sorry. muting them right now. Look at them playing pool. Oh, I'm so jealous. I'm going to go I'm going to go to my pool table. So, I'm going to remote in from the back of my house. Of course, it's one game at a time. Going to hit the computer. Oh, get that out of the camera. Okay, I'm sending you to your room so dumb and dumber you better get your rooms. I want to do a grand jury, but I was told that if you do a grand jury, you probably never get on a jury again. Huh. Susan, you got me in the wrong room. Do I? I'm supposed to be in room five. Okay. I'm doing bonus tonight. Yeah, you right? sure are. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry, you came in. Okay, got okay. it. It's okay. They fixed it before I got in there. Okay. You got in there and changed their names. So if recording is in progress, I can't say that like there's some drinking going on in my in my team. I think I just it, said it. You can definitely uh, say it. <laughs> We're allowed to use the F word on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in, in, in our videos that have been seen so much traffic, right? <laughs> The F word. Uh, it's just, you know, the odds are really good that it just takes one of us to get really, really, really famous or notorious. And then somebody's going to come along and just watch all the videos. And notorious? Like, I think that's going to be Vincent. Notorious? What? I'll, I'll do no, what I can. Notorious. You, you, you've given me a new goal in life. You mean infamous, right? <laughs> Way to go, Bob. Any of those sorts. All it Thank takes you. is one of you guys to, to, to hit the algorithm. And, and that'll do it for you. It's going to be you, Susan. You and Thomas John are going to be famous. He's going to come and kill me. I just swear he is. He says he's coming to Salinas. I'll go back through every that video. That was so funny this morning. That was the first thing that was on my Facebook feed. <laughs> and it just cracked me up. <laughs> he's going to I'm Los Angeles. He's going to North Carolina. He's on oh, tour. he's coming here. Mm -hmm. He's on tour. So are you going to get a ticket and sit in the first row and just do this the whole time? <laughs> it's not coming here. There's no here to come to. Where would you go in Salinas? D he's going don't to worry, Los Susan. Angeles. It's all going to be mundane anyway. So he's going to go to North Carolina. I'm not sure if he's anywhere near uh, Faith and Romero. Oh, he's not. He's just not coming here. He, is, he did that to mess with me. He's just doing it to say I'm watching you and I'm paying attention. Yeah, I've been really he's hard going to LA. <laughs> he is really going to LA. Comes. He is on tour. Monkey, monkey, monkey shoulders. shoulders. What he's saying is, I know where you live, Susan. Yeah, yeah well, that's really hard to miss. Monkey shoulder, huh? Look at these. Well, guys. All, all that he, the, done is confirmed that he's good at hot reading. Uh, yeah, there you go. He's looked at my open Facebook page where it says where I live. I am not hiding anything. I don't have my address, but he's probably so obsessed. He's watching every one of these episodes. Uh, I was hi, playing TJ. Trivia. How hi, you TJ. doing? <laughs> hi, you fraud. We just hey, love TJ. talking about you. Hey, TJ, I got a message for you. <laughs> what, what number am I holding up? <laughs> <laughs> what number am I thinking of? What number am I thinking of? Yeah. <laughs> what am I thinking of right here? <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I doubt he's watching. You're number one, TJ. You're number one on my list. <laughs> I don't think he's watching these, but um, you know, I don't know. He's we've we've had some very interesting things. One of his uh, assistants left him, and uh, he posted like an idiot. He posted on the internet to people. If anybody is receiving messages from person, the name of this person, ignore them. They no longer work for me. So the first thing I'm doing is like, let's find this person. <laughs> and her and I had a long conversation. Oh, you oh, found her. Oh, really? Oh, tell us oh, all God. about that. Oh, um, please, please. Perhaps, please. perhaps you should hit the thing. recording on pause, though. <laughs> oh, I have Vincent and Peggy in the same room? 
and they're both doing yeah. categories. Wow. Oh, see, we were wondering about that. What? Oh, dear. Okay, I guess I got, boy, I'm really not paying attention. Peggy, you're in the wrong room, girl. <laughs> oh. Well, how many people are per room? We only had three, so. And we only had three. Yep. And Just not as much people tonight. Three. So, yeah. So nobody in Ron, Janine, and Jane's room had a had a category, right? We would love to have Peggy. You have we Peggy. We would like to have Peggy. Yeah. Not yeah, Peggy. Okay. Invited to go to any team. No, thanks a lot. Yeah, if you're going to go to any team. Yeah, we, would... yeah, yeah. we don't want. We don't want Vincent. We want Peggy. Oh, we would. Yeah. <laughs> we would love. Oh, it. I tell you, you know, it's like... nice to be wanted, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So it's Lynn, Rob. Vincent, Peggy, Kevin. Right? Uh, what? Right. Here comes Deborah. Right. right. Okay. So that's oh, what it is. That still doesn't Going work. Around. That Peggy has a category. Yeah. Peggy's moving to room four. Okay. So what room am I moving to? You're not. I'm not. Okay. You're staying You're where you are. Three to three. Can we that's take can we take Deborah? <laughs> Are we betting or something? I mean, in a good fight. How many draft choices do we get? <laughs> no. I don't know. Can you take Deborah? Can we have Deborah on our team? She's pretty strong. Well, we've got too. Ben, so, Rob, and and Ben, Bob, and Rob. Can I get three players trade up if you got if I trade Kyle? <laughs> yeah, so, so, just to, so just to point out, one of the teams has five people, and we have three. Okay, well, yeah, Bill, we're, we're Carolyn, and Lynn, and, and Paul, and Mike. Okay, so you're going to lose Mike Wolf and you're going to lose Carolyn. So it's going to be Bill, Lynn, and Paul. Very short, uh, by nine o'clock coming up. And then you've got Ben, Bob, and Rob in the other room. And I don't know if I want to put somebody else on their team that doesn't have three letters in their name only. <laughs> yeah, we need we need someone Susan? else with three letters. Yeah? Did you say that there are just two of us? It, yeah, Lynn and Paul are the same team, are the same person essentially no that doesn't matter if it's if there's a five people in, in a in a room on yeah, but and then there's five people okay yeah, okh yeah but mike's going to be leaving i'm good with that. oh okay yeah, Mike's leaving. When, they, when they do their Probably category before this thing even i'm on their, their i'm taking their spot so forget don't worry bill it's not just really two worth two brains right <laughs> brain in brain <laughs> why don't you take lynn's spot and then they, what is brain Dunning and Saunders, and Vincent I and knew Robin. Would finish it. I had to fi you had to finish that. You had to finish that. And then yeah. Jane, Janine, Ron, and Peggy. And then you'll have Jane. Oh, I Peggy. forgot. Robin came on our team. I'm sorry, Robin. Uh, <laughs> You're rude. Why did I tell you? <laughs> I know, I so yes, you oh have my God. God. Robin. I'm so tired. He can't be rude. He's Canadian. So where should I put Deborah? I'm going to put Deborah in. <laughs> Do we all need to leave and like come back and start this whole night over? Oh, no, 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 no. I just I'm looking at okay. So the Take first room, over. the first room has five people, but one's leaving early and the other one's going to be leaving part way. And then I've got Ben, Bob, and Rob. Ben, so Bob, close. and Rob. And then I've got Dunning, Saunders, Vincent, and Robin. The other two, those first two are probably drunk. So I don't know how much. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm leaning towards putting Deborah there. Yeah, okay. They're probably not paying attention either. Well, well. And then we have Jane, Janine, Ron, and Peggy. They're all on it. I mean, you know, they're responsible human beings. So yeah. then we have Jamie, Carl, Kevin, and Troy. I think I'm going to put Deborah over here with Denning, Saunders, Vincent, and Robert just because we need it. We need a responsible person in that room somewhere. At least I'm sober. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. Not. It's All right, it's so, designated trivia player. Yeah, and then the next one might go to room one. I'm trying to see. Okay, so. All right, you guys. I want to know. You. Now, I hope you've given me good names this week. Not these na stupid names that you've given me in the past. And I'm, so I want some good <laughs> names. Wow. I live for this moment. And you come up with some wimpy <laughs> things like three Canadians and a Yank. Something we're just talking about naming the teams and then and then everybody leave. You know? Well, then somebody is in charge, but I come up with a good one. Okay, so here I'm asking questions. So, 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 so Susan, on the cruise right. ship, 
on the cruise ship, we played trivia, as I mentioned. We had to pick team names. So it was just my wife and I, and some groups had a huge number of people. But anyway, we had to pick team names. So ours was like, where the hell is Susan? And no one got that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that went over well. They were like, we don't have to explain. We don't have to explain. Okay, Bill, Carolyn, Lynn, Paul, Mike. What do Don and Tucker have in common? Oh, they both been bad. Bad. Uh, their asses are gone. Mm. All right. I hear, I hear, I like Don Lemon, but I understand. Unemployment oh, insurance. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't get that. They're fired. Did they? Well, you go to arbitration, you can make oh. your case. Okay. Ben, Bob, and Rob. Two Bobs and a Ben. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, if you put Ron on our team, then we could be two Bobs or Ron and a Ben. I mean, <laughs> seriously, is that the name you came up with? Yep, that's what we came up with. Two Bobs and a Ben? <laughs> yes. I think mean, you can't get so anybody else on your team now. Yeah, it's I guess it, we're pretty we're pretty restricted do, now. It's oh, a little dirty. Do you need do you need us to add a for now at the end of the team name? Two bobs and a Ben for now. Okay. Dumb and Dumber, Vincent, Robin, and Deborah. Drinking oh. and playing pool. <laughs> there you go. I want to be doing that. <laughs> wait, wait, that's it? That's it. <laughs> well, you're going to be very disappointed this week. <laughs> I said it's a trend. Okay, an Australian and three Yanks drinking and playing. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see if Jane, Janine, Ron, and Peggy, the adults in the room here, have a better answer. Man, she's dissing all of our team names. I think next next week we need to come <laughs> no, up with the, the lamest Fox team Fox News ever. is plum tuckered out. Yeah, I like oh, that. that's, oh, that's, like that's good. That's a good Much one. better. Very good. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Somebody has clever on them. Is that is was Jamie on that team? No, Jamie. Oh, no. 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 no, it sounds like a Jamie. He works at it, you know. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't like homework. He comes Deborah's back raising her hand or she's frozen. She's What's going on with Deborah? Is she doing a karate <laughs> move? <laughs> <laughs> These She's aren't the droids you're cool. looking for. She said. <laughs> 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 She said, she she told me that her internet's bad over there. She said our internet keeps going down, and I said it's better than it being your pants. Oh. <laughs> okay. That didn't go over very well, did it? Okay. This is why Jamie. you keep getting demonetized, Susan. <laughs> Jamie, Carl, Kevin, and Troy. Oh. Oh. oh my God! I'm missing you. Too wow. soon. Yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> too soon. <laughs> Springer has sprung. All right. Well, that's that's clever. Oh, that's okay. So much. So but let me read these okay, these, <laughs> these sort of okay names with some of the well, there there's some good ones here and some like pretty it. awful ones. Okay. Next week's one. team name is gonna be okay team name, just for you, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. What do Don and Tucker have in common? Versus two bobs and a bin. <laughs> versus it drinking and you. playing pool. Versus Fox News is plum tuckered out. <laughs> like the look on your face. Uh, Ringer has sprung. Oh my God, you guys. Some people were thinking and some were drinking. <laughs> and and, and nobody cool. said anything about Dame Edna. Oh, Dame Edna. Oh, yeah. uh, very I, I I can I can yeah. definitely I will not miss Dame Edna. You don't? You did, I, I don't I remember think Dame Edna was particularly funny. <laughs> well, uh, for the time, for the time, for the that time, he was, was rather crude. So I recommend if you don't know of Dame Edna Everidge, Google Dame Edna Prince Charles. It's about a 30 second minute clip and it's 48 seconds. Is it Dame Edna's best? Best. best. Okay. Dame Edna. Best, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, Karen has just joined. So before we start Lynn's round, where do I put Karen? Karen. Put, her, put her for the best team Karen. name. 
Yeah. Uh, Let her pick a team. Okay, I'm gonna read the names to her, and she's gonna we pick. All right. No people. team two, so then we, our name people. can be invalidated. Team one, because we're losing everybody. Yeah. But you uh, already have. Five. I, I think I should put her with team one. Well, now they got six. Lame. Oh. Yeah, but you're losing Mike, and you're losing Carolyn. Early. And at this rate, you're going to lose Mike before we even start. Oh. Yeah, and I know when, you guys. And when they lose those two people, they'll still have more team members than our team. Members. Oh no, it's a. Oh, right. you're the one that picked Bob's yeah. and <laughs> Yeah. All right, I made a decision, and that's my decision. All right, here I we think go. Mike could pull an all nighter, and we go into it. <laughs> so, I want to let you know. Okay. Oh, first off. Game number 158, season three, episode 49. We have five teams competing for the co competition for the for the whole bragging rights of game 158. This is Jane's favorite part of the whole the whole show is whenever I, I announce things. So I'm doing this for Jane. Hi, Jane. It's for you. It, April 27th, 2023. So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to welcome our very first time for Lynn to do a category. Does does Paul know your category, Lynn? He, know, he knows some of it, so he's going to have to sit it out. We talked yeah. about it, but she's... Okay. So me. she didn't vet these with anybody, but she took a lot of good instructions from people. I think she's going to do fine, but we're still going to be uber, uber nice to her. And I'm not talking about a car ride. So okay. everybody's going to be super nice. So um, the make sure you're putting the posts in the chat. I will do that. As you read them. Otherwise, you know, Janine... Gets upset. I will do that. I have that down. Otherwise, Rob <laughs> gets upset for Janine. That's the uh, only thing I have down. Like, I don't know how to go around to different rooms or anything. So, oh, you're going to find all about that. So, okay, I need to, um, Jamie. No, I can't make Jamie the thing. He can't do the thing. Who can do the Should thing? I, um, I'll do it if you want. Who said that? Okay, Troy. Sure. Okay, yeah. Troy's going to move, going to be the, okay, you tater. Mutator. mutator. Oh, okay. So okay. somebody else will handle that. Okay. Yeah, try will be the mutator. <laughs> you will learn how to go from room to room. Are you guys on a computer, Lynn? Yes, I am yeah. on. Okay. Uh, not an iPad or a phone or anything like no, that. I'm not. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're using her computer this time. We usually yeah. use mine. Yeah. Okay. So Deborah says her computer's down again. Summer. We'll just go about it and she'll come into your room in a minute. All okay. right. So Lynn is going to read the category and then, then Troy's going to mute everybody. And then that means Lynn, make sure you unmute yourself because you will end up going, you'll be muted. Okay. okay. All right. So go ahead. What's your category name? Uh, it's classic rock. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. So Troy. Okay, so I am unmuted now. I'm what unmuted it'll be now. about geology. Yes, <laughs> it could rocks. be. It could be next oh. time, maybe. Next time, maybe. Okay, so are we ready to start? Yep, go for uh, it. Okay, very good. So uh, our first uh, question is: What song, a popular environmental anthem, was recorded three times by the original folk singer, and by at least four hundred and fifty-six other artists? It has been recorded by someone every year since 1990. Whoa. Okay, so number two. Um, okay. Whoops, sorry. I'm gonna get the hang of this here. Yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, what drug inspired song had lyrics that were often misconstrued as while I kiss this guy. Oh, I never thought of it that way. Okay. Okay. Uh, next. Um, released five months after the death of the lead singer, Bon Scott, this song had the same name as the album. To date, with 50 million albums sold, only one album has sold more wor worldwide, and that album is, is Michael Jackson's Thriller. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
Uh, what band did Sid Barrett originally lead before being replaced by David Gilmore in 1968? Number five, yeah. What popular Santana song was actually a cover of a 1968 Fleetwood Mac song that only hit number 37 in the UK and not in the US? Okay. Okay, number six. Uh, Paul McCartney often made up characters to appear in his songs, and this song, belonging to a very niche musical tradition, the Cheerful Murder Sing-Along, is about a medical student who killed people. Okay. What was Prince's first hit in the U.S. Top 10? Okay. Oops. Okay, number eight. This song's original title by a Northern Irish singer songwriter pointed to an interracial relationship, but was changed to make the song more palatable for radio stations. What is the song and who is the songwriter? Both are required. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that bad? No, that's not bad, is it? It'll probably be obvious. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay. Uh, okay. Otherwise, we'll argue with you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can argue. Okay. Number nine, one of the defining songs of 1967 Summer of Love was based on a childhood childhood classic piece of literature. The songwriter described the lyrics this way. I don't think most people realize the song was aimed at parents who drank and told their kids not to do drugs. Okay, and then, oh, that was like, yeah, that's right, okay. <laughs> Okay, and number 10, what song by the Rolling Stones was used as an orchestral version in a 2018 Ford commercial starring Brian Cranston? It was a nod to Henry Ford's quote, you can have any color as long as it's black. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Very good. Those are good. All well written. Okay. Rob, do you approve? No. No. Just because it has a question eight. But other than question eight, Rob yeah. is right. Yes, he does. Okay, good. Okay, should I change? Look, at his look and give me a look. Yeah, you have to have either. You can't have two answers. So it's, it gives me either this or oh, that. Okay. That's all. We'll and, argue it if it's not obvious. Okay. Right. Okay. So I'm going to change it to, uh, we'll change that to, you can have either one. All right. Okay. So now your co host. Now, so Lynn, look down at your, your, okay. I see. I should say breakout okay. rooms. See where it says breakout rooms? uh at the very bottom there's four boxes mm -hmm. it's a cube i'm looking i'm looking very bottom of the screen yeah. you might have the mouse yeah. over. oh yeah i got it i got it okay, okay so if you open that up i have it open because on the bottom right it says open all rooms yep go for it okay i am opening all rooms okay so now what you're going to be able to do is you're and i think um i need to move somebody here real quick robin was it you no peggy i have to move Right? To who? To where? I have to move. Rob. Okay, I have to move. Oh, oh, oh I see. Yes, yes. I so now you have powers. What mean, What that means is you're going to be able to go from room to room. Do you see where it says join on the right hand side? I do. I do but okay. I don't want to join room one yet, right? I'll do you can go to. You can go to join. <laughs> you can go to room one if you want, but that's what the room that's going to be recorded. So if yeah. you want to go back and listen to the video later and yeah. hear what happens in room one, Sure. You might jump in there, but spend most of your time in rooms two, three, four, and five because yes, it's I hilarious. Yes, I will. I, do I think it's so much fun to listen to other people. All right, okay. so have fun and come back to room one when you think everybody's pretty much done because you're going to have a two-hour, two-hour, 
two minutes. <laughs> no. You're going to close the rooms using that okay. same button that says close all rooms. I see that. Yes. And then there's a two minute warning. So okay. when you think everybody's kind of within two minutes, yeah, close the rooms. Okay. Come back okay. to room one before you do it. Okay. So I'm going to room two now. Okay. Bye. Have fun. That's right. Uh, I, would have, I would have guessed back in black, but hello, team. I thought it was high voltage. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe it is uh, back in black because they that's after he died. So this was back in black, back in black. So you think it's back in black? You can yeah. here. So you guys, so she's got all these. Hi, sorry, okay. sorry, Hi. To sorry to be late. Um. Okay, so you want to you want to switch it to back in black because that sounds good. Okay, so what do you I'm have? Gonna to be, I'm, I'm going to give you the categories. I mean the questions, Karen. You ready for them? Yeah, it's in the chat, right? Do I? Oh, can you see them? Uh, I yeah yeah yeah. I've been logged in. I've been okay. logged in. I just haven't been here. Okay, so that's then, okay. Let me put Deborah in her room real quick. She's in three. So wouldn't hi, number hi everybody. Hello. Hello. I just got here a second ago. Okay, so what did you guys get for number one? We haven't yet. It's not happy birthday. So we're just going down. And Byron, what's a, what's a, like a, from, is it in 19, it's not clear whether the song originally came out in 1990. Or. It's got to be more than that if it's been recorded that many times. It must by, be cold. by a folk singer so would it i i don't the only thing i can think of is um paved paradise yeah that they that, 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 that doesn't seem like it's been recorded then right but that's the only environment right. well, let's like put a, a pin in that and yeah the rest of them two okay. purple haze three okay. either highway to hell or back in black Four is Pink Floyd, right? Four is Pink Floyd. The band did okay, yeah, I was thinking really that. before being replaced by David. Yeah. Um, five. I wonder if that is the Fleetwood Mac version thirty-seven or Santana version thirty-seven. Uh, it was the Mac Fleetwood Mac was number thirty-seven. Would it be Black Magic Woman? Works for me. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Six, Maxwell yeah. Silver Hammer. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Is it Little Red Corvette? No, I think that was much. Although it's like the when Dubs cry. No, Dubs cry was like after like controversy or. Uh... Okay, what? Have, I'm sorry. What was five? Did you guys say? I was answering a text. We. Black Magic Woman. Black magic woman unless you know for sure a different answer and then six maxwell silver hammer oh yeah um what's his first song i mean first, oh, first hit. hit his hit i would say yeah, it's hard to know what's going to be a top 10 hit because that's like, I think a lot of Prince's stuff probably was very popular, but never really until like Purple Rain. But Purple Rain, yeah, but we, play, I mean, we, we played Little Red Corvette. So, I mean, that was popular before, and that came before Purple Rain, didn't it? I mean, as far yeah, as I, 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 I think you're right, Little Red Corvette. Okay. There was another song he had that was, I think, on that same album, wasn't it? That was, oh, 19, what was it, the one about 1999? You know what? There's a theme. Okay. Purple Haze, Back in Black, Pink Floyd, Black oh. Man, Maxwell Silver Hammer, Carolyn's Paying Attention, Brown Eyed Girl, Puff, oh, that I thought it was Puff the Magic Dragon. I'm wrong then. But then Painted Black is number 10, right? You got yeah. it. Look at Lynn trying to be sneaky. Okay, the songs are like The last time someone did colors, it was like Roy G. Biv. It was in. 
Okay, is, so so that so we have that. a theme. So what's number one and what's number nine? Okay, you're looking for number one and number nine. Let me look at one. Some of the songs just got to it. Um, White Rabbit. Oh yes. Oh, Thank brilliant. You. Wait, that is number. Well, how is that or environmental number... or or folksy? Well, folk singer was, uh, wait, wait, was number nine. You said number nine. Number nine, but also number one. We need one for. Oh, oh, oh okay. Number oh, nine okay. is White Rabbit. Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. Number very good. Dun, and what's the other she one? She had an incredible voice. Dun, 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 I should say she had. Dun, 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 I love White Rabbit. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. Okay. Number Total one. Sense. So environmental folk. And it's got, got a color. Green something. Green. I don't know. I think green. Maybe blue skies or Oops. white, red, purple. environmental anthem recorded three different times by the original folk singer i mean bob bob dylan comes to mind as like yellow folk. submarine do we have anything that's green yet no it no. seems green do we have green well, two for blacks any so two blacks there's yeah what? red silver pink and purple and white but yeah, green. You know, this is her first time, so she's probably not going super crazy on the theme. Green, like, uh, green, the, the grass is green. Spectrum. Oh, Green River. Yellow River by I.P. Freely. <laughs> <laughs> Environmental. I even got that. Okay, think of some folk singers besides Dylan. Oh, what's Joan Baez? Joan, yeah, blown in the wind. Uh, Guthrie. Arlo Guthrie, uh, Alice's Restaurant, Allison's Orange Restaurant. <laughs> tangled up in blues. Um, that is tangled up in blue. Never heard of that. That's a song. Green, That's like yeah. a Bob Dylan song, Dylan. isn't it? Green, uh, green grass, a home. Um. The yellow taxi. Yellow taxi. They paved paradise. Put up a parking That's, lot. Didn't I say that? Oh, yeah, I did a long time That's ago. That's what I That's, said. Yellow taxi. A, Good going. Yellow taxi. Well. Thank okay. you. And, and apparently, Carolyn. I did not know that was what it was titled. Yeah. Don't don't it always seem <laughs> Karen. To know that you don't know what you got till it's gone. They paved paradise. Yes. Put up a park in love. And you know, the only person I know who sings is Karen Hart, my um from our friend Karen. <laughs> she does a lot of Joan Baez stuff and I didn't I didn't know that, Thank you. I didn't know it's Joan Baez. I just that's that's not Mitchell. Joan Baez. That's Close. Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell. Oh, okay, that person, Joni Mitchell. Yeah, that yeah, person. Yeah, big and, yellow and, taxi. Yellow big taxi. yellow taxi. Big yellow taxi. Okay. Big, big yellow taxi. Big big yellow taxi. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, okay. good good job, team. We got that done. Can you okay. go over the answers again, please? I'm sorry. So, big yellow taxi for number one. Then purple haze. Back in black. Pink Pink Floyd. Back black magic woman. Maxwell silver hammer. Little red Corvette. Brown eyed girl. White rabbit painted black. Okay, so there's two that are black. I see a red door and I want it painted. But there's black. two black. Yeah. What was ten? Didn't we think it was painted black? But it's Rolling Stones. You can uh, well, I can see it's Lynn's first time doing it. She might. It, there's no rule says we can't have more than one use the same color in the theme. Okay. So and it's her first time, so she might not even thought about it. So what besides uh paint it black, what's the other black one we have? We have black magic woman and back in black. Back in black, which the only other option might be highway to hell, but that has no color in it. So right. yeah, yeah, first that's what I thought was highway to hell, but then he mentioned back in black, and once we saw the theme, it's gotta be, you know. Okay. 
So is the name of the song by the Rolling Stones um, painted black? That's what I thought it is. It's not like Red Door or anything black, like yeah. that. Yeah, we don't have red used either, huh? Oh, yeah, we do have yeah. Corvette. Corvette yeah. yeah, little red Corvette. Little red Corvette. Paint it black. I've never even heard of that. Call that boy. It's just stuff you know. You don't really. Bow, 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 bow. You know the song. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know that it was called Paint It Black. I guess that makes sense. I see your red door and Paint it black. So it's called Paint It Black, not the red door. <gasps> what if it's called the red door? I don't think so, though. I think it's Paint Black. I don't know. What if we say Painted Black slash sees red door bill mike what do you think what do you guys think uh what? red door is just the lyric no painted black is the name of the song okay so we have official we've checked with the empires here and it makes sense with the quote you can have any color as long as it is black and uh, of course yeah that may not be the answer but yeah who cares it's fun. It's social trivia. Gosh, where's Lynn? And we got to sing songs. Yay. Lynn's on room five. She's probably going to show up here right now. And they were good songs. I wonder if everybody's close. And Jimmy Buffett usually does Brown Eyed Girl now. In How does Brown Eyed Girl go? Um, Brown Eyed Girl. Oh, I've never liked that song. We used to, we used to say, it was originally Brown Skin Girl. Brown Skin Girl. Originally, really? Yeah. Brown Skin Girl. They had to change it. And he was convinced, he was uh, told, no, you have to change that. Because it was too oh. controversial. Oh, who's the singer? Van Morrison. Ah, so we have both in here. Boy, you guys are awesome. I would not have gotten these. I would have gotten Pink Floyd. You would have gotten Little Red Corvette. Come on. No, because if well, if I hadn't, if I hadn't realized it was a theme, no. But I wasn't thinking it was a theme. Carolyn just noticed it. But I would have said Prince's first hit. I thought it was um, Dove's Cry. Dove's Cry. Yeah, oh, and and that fits that fits with the theme. Uh, how all of these have food involved, so I think it is to our yeah. advantage that we figured that out right away. Yeah, all of them have all food. The, answers. the popcorn food. one, Lynn, was brilliant. I have no idea how you got that popcorn idea think, in there. That was brilliant. I think we're gonna get seven out of ten for sure. Maybe ten. Maybe I'm worm. Glad. The I'm one with worms in it was popcorn. weird. How in the world did you get that song? Yeah. Little yeah. worms eat eat. Um, no idea. Mersey dotes and dozy dotes. Little lambs eat ivy. That, that was a Bob Hope big Crosby thing. You. Yeah. God. Would you be upset if I set the two minute warning now? No, I was running. Okay. 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 Yeah, we're like good. your mug, Carolyn. Shake your mug again. <laughs> Put it up to the camera. Now. Hey, uh, there. <laughs> Don't what? It's it's a it's a mug that a design I cross stitched. Truck fump. <laughs> yeah, a, I cross stitched it. Sold Susan it and, designed it. She did the and people bought them. They're hilarious. And I gave it for gifts this year. Did you really? Yeah. Did it go over well? It did. Yes. <laughs> That's too funny. I haven't sold hardly any of them. I think I've sold maybe 13 items. So you guys, if you have them, you guys are, boy, like a making a fortune. I mean, not a fortune. You've got a novelty there. Something different. Oh, look at the kitty. Hello. Look at somebody wants to be cuddled. 21. Jeez. Wow. That is one special kitty. Aww. <laughs> Mine are sleeping over. I have two sleeping in here right now. That's all they do. They just snore and sleep and snore and sleep. That's what cats do. It's boring. Yeah. That's why I've never had a cat. 
You never had a cat? No, I'm a dog. Not lived. You've not lived till you've had a cat. A cat my, has had you. My sister had a cat. And... We are owned by cats. Yeah. If I had enough I, space, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to long hair cats. If, if I had oh. enough space, if I had a big catio and enough money for the vet bills, I would have as many cat. I get crazy cat ladies. So I would have cats galore. So would that become a catio? That's correct, Bill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's bad. I never thought I'd have three, but I do now. Oh, I love cats. I, I get it. I get it. But you gotta, you know, if they pee somewhere, oh, oh my God. They're not my friends. I want to kill them. After All right. Three, Good job, two, team. Two, one. You know, recording may be in progress, but at least uh, with Dumb and Dumber there, we're not hearing ourselves. <sighs> <laughs> Can't figure out how to unmute himself. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> it was dumb and dumber. That yeah. was really good. Oh, Lynn did so a fun terrific fun. job, and I'm not yeah. even having to be nice. Do you guys all agree? Okay. Yes. <laughs> and and by the way, we got on question number eight. We got both. Yeah, okay, but you only need one. Okay, but we got both. Just so saying. Both. Wait, is dumb and dumber Richard and Brian? I can't really see. Yeah, yeah. Could be Brian and Richard too. Which one is dumb and which one is dumber? Whichever yeah. one is on the left hand side is dumb, and the whichever one is on the right hand side is dumber. They're I think they're cool. they're really drunk and drunker. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were there any help at all in your category? Peggy, 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 it's not mutually exclusive. They were they were helpful. Really? Yeah. Welcome yeah, okay. back, Rob. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back, Rob. Yeah. Welcome. Did back. you go, Rob? Did you spend all your vacation watching the videos from our games? I actually only watched the uh, Brandy section because I reviewed her question, so I want to see how that went over. Oh, you! Oh, we all said hi to you. We all said hi to you. I, said, I saw that. Oh, because at some we, point. you let us down a couple of times. You no. didn't. You didn't see that if you only watched Brandy section. I no. only saw Brandy section, then I skimmed other parts of it, so Speaking I caught that. Brandy. Uh, is that what uh, that is? Where is, where is All Brandy? right. Brandy's We're going to go back to Lynn now. Okay. <laughs> and you can do the you could do the answers any way you want. You Okay, I would I'm not recommend gonna... I would not recommend reading the entire question over again. Just Okay, so I and... am just going to uh post them all at once. Okay? okay, but but do read them so that the for the okay. the listening Number audience one. big yellow taxi shoot. I never was Number one is, there. Is, TJ is, wants to know what the answers are, so you have to read them. Oh, uh, you know, I almost I was going to say that because he can't suss them okay, out. Lynn from is me. reading them now. Everybody. I am going stop to read being, them. Stop talking, stop talking, <laughs> and let the answers go. Mute. Okay, the, number <laughs> one, Johnny Mitchell's big yellow taxi. Yay. Number two is purple haze. I think that was an easy one, maybe. Uh, number three is Back in Black by CDC. Back. <laughs> number four is Pink Floyd. David Gilmore is one of my favorites. I love that. Passed away this past year. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Number five is Black Magic Woman. I don't know oh. if, uh, if anyone's picking up a theme here or not. Yes. Uh, Carolyn got it on our team. Picked up the theme uh, okay. of the question three. Oh, good. What's, what was that about question three? That's what? when I picked up the theme. Oh, you did. Okay, good. Yeah, we went back and changed number one okay. because it didn't fit the theme. So then um, number six is Maxwell Silverhammer. Number yeah. seven, this was a tricky one, I think. Little no, Red Corvette. No, I'm Purple Rain. We had a back oh, and discussion. Rain, yeah. Oh, Purple Rain. That's no, right. It's the same. Gray. Oh, if it's the theme. Yeah. Uh, number eight is Brown Eyed Girl. The original, uh, the original song was Brown Skinned Girl, and uh, they changed the name. Uh, number nine is White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane, and number 10 is Painted Black. So, and number eight was by Van Morrison, right? Yeah, it was did, by Van Morrison, yes. Did you say there was a mystery theme? I don't remember hearing nope. that. I did not. I didn't know if I was supposed to or not. No, you, don't have to. You. you don't have to. It was a mystery. That was fun. It was, so it was two it was, and one. 
That was good. That was very good, Lynn. We'll put you down. It made me change. Now. Answer one. I had It's a Wonderful World until we noticed the theme. The, okay, he, yeah, yeah. Kevin, yeah. Is, Kevin is expecting a theme. I, I wasn't a few. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect it. <laughs> uh, we weren't expecting it at all. Okay, so let's get our categories. Okay. I mean, our scores. So let's see how Lynn did. Springer well, has- Wait, uh, wait should we ask, what if we got the correct song for number one, but we wrote the title incorrectly? Well, how badly do you, how did, how badly did you do it? We had what? most of the lyrics of the song in there, except for the title. <laughs> wait, did you have, per, did you have Big Yellow Taxi? We wrote, what did we, what did we actually write? Pay, they paved paradise. Paid paradise. Paid paradise. Okay, and so I, Jane, sang, Jane, Jane, Jane sang the whole song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's the name of the song. We knew that, right? If she sang the song know. What for are the rules? Susan, what are the rules? I don't You're know. You're in charge. Well, I say, rules. Rules. But if Jane would sing the song, could we get the point? No, okay. Yeah, Here's what I think. Here's what I think. <laughs> if you had you said this is a point. mystery category <laughs> yeah. and uh, in there, within there, there's a, if you had said okay. that, okay. then I, I, I would say that Big Yellow Taxi is the only thing that would fit because yeah. whatever they said doesn't fit the whole thing yeah. at all. Yes. You guys okay. didn't realize that there was a theme, Jane? No. No. <laughs> we, completely missed, we completely missed that. No, we didn't get the theme either. You have to get enough questions right okay, to know the theme. It was a theme. She didn't say there was a theme. Kevin just assumed there And was I think we should give it to them. Okay, I agree because well, let me be generous since it's they obviously knew it. They, just, they knew it. They obviously right. knew it. yes. Yeah. And we're old. We keep losing Deborah. What the heck? Oh, I'm probably and I, more, so. and I 100 support Lynn's generosity unless that team wins by one point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just go. saying, I'm going to keep an eye on you guys. Unlikely, Karen. Unlikely. I'm competitive. Being nice. All right. Okay. So Springer has sprung. Ten. Ten. <sighs> It's too easy. Bob and his. I'm going to record. I'm going to make a video of just Rob's size. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Rob yeah, size. Go back. Get it. Do a super cut. Do a super. Go through that back yeah. every every YouTube video. <gasps> Wait, how does he do it? He has a special. I could pick it out of a crowd of size. Somebody said at a court, "Whose size is this?" I would say that I'm here to identify. I would be the expert witness to identify Rob's size. Even and, clueless TJ could pick me out. Yeah. And, and um, the amazing thing. Hear is, that, TJ? I called you clueless. Sue me. The amazing thing is, he never had kids and he still sized like that. <laughs> I, I, I never did until I started playing trivia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't even make the sound. Ooh. <laughs> it's like it's a an sound. exhale. A heavy exhale. <laughs> okay, it's so round two. Uh, All right, wait. Team two Fox got News is bum tuckered out. Eight. Uh, didn't we get nine? We got nine. We got nine. nine. I think we got, got nine one. thanks to the generosity. Yes, of because of the generosity here. there. Okay. Yeah. Drinking and playing pool with the stupidest name of the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the stupidest score at six. Oh, don't be so uh don't I be so hasty up. robin <laughs> you're all boomers i know i'm not a because you picked a stupid name for your team okay. and the team that has the I, second I, stupidest I, name if you had told me for number one if you told me it's johnny mitchell's big yellow taxi i would have said that hasn't been recorded 456 times no way apparently it has all I right said, two bobs in a bin five Ooh. That's because you picked a stupid name. I'm telling you. That's because we have three people. Well, you should know this. You're all boomers. And one of them is not Carl <laughs> or Karen. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we well, pointed that I'm out. Well, I'm only putting people with three in round two. on that team. So there, because you named it that. What do Don and Tucker have in common? We named it that because we only had three people on our team. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to be there now. Don't worry. Calm down. I'll be there. I'll take care of it. So we'll have and we'll still be at three. Hey, hey, hey. I'm worth five. Say, okay, so you averaged out at eight. 
Right. Lynn, very good. Okay. You can make it a little more difficult, probably. A little more difficult, okay. A little more difficult. Okay. And then everybody can yell at you next time. Okay. okay. Oh, no, it was plenty difficult. Okay. You don't need to make Thank you for not yelling at me for those of with, with half of the people drunk on your team, I guess it is, huh? Those were great questions, Lynn. Really you good you did a really good, good job. Very good. Yeah. I really I enjoyed that. Thank you. What'd you think of the going from room to room and listening? That was fun. That it was hard not to I forgot that they could probably see me. So I was trying not to have yeah, facial expressions. Facial expressions are up. Just turn your camera on. What's some that? people go some people put like a mask on like Troy has, but it, it wouldn't oh, yeah. be rough I, on the screen. Yeah. I just turn my camera off when I do it. So I don't oh, have to worry Carl, about it. Carl yeah. does this. That's what I should have done. Yeah. That's I just it. go in there and laugh every time they come up with an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So when you watch the video, you'll be able to watch a video and, and you'll 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 be able to see what happened in your room. The room. Okay, okay. And here's Deborah now again. Okay, good job. Now, round two. So I'm going to take your permissions away from you, Lynn. You'll notice those yep. away. Okay. And you've got, and just that experience of what you've gone through, Lynn, yep. that is more experience in how to run Zoom than most people in the world, in all of the United States or anywhere around. No, you've got tons of Zoom experience just there. Okay. Okay, how to ahead. open a room, how to close rooms, how to go from room to room, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Okay. I'm very excited that I know that. <laughs> She's like, yes. <laughs> I can okay. shut up my family now. <laughs> Move them to room. Shut up. You mute shut up. I know how to use Zoom now. I'll put you in a breakout room. Yeah, I'm going to mute you. A, breakout. a timeout room. Put them in a timeout room. <laughs> okay, Rob. Please. Never, you miss so much. A stupid internet. I, I swear it never does this. It's been dropping like every few minutes. It'll drop out. Oh, I don't know. Hey. Thank, Mitch, thanks, Mitch. Comcast. Who's your character? Who's your Comcast. character? Comcast. Yeah. You know what, Deborah? You should talk to Kathy. They got something figured out. They're using a, a hub for uh, T-Mobile has a has a strong spot there. So they've got this T-Mobile hub, and then that, and even though they have like a Verizon phones, and it's she says it's brilliant. It's so fast now. Oh. well, it's always never it's fast one. It's fast when I have it, and it almost always works. It's just oh, tonight it's just, for just some tonight. reason. Yeah, maybe, maybe Deborah, maybe you're having a glitch in the matrix. So oh, the yeah. category now is no, the no, matrix. it's because Mercury's in retrograde. The matrix. The matrix. The matrix. Oh no! Oh, and no. you want me to do well because I'm on oh. your team? It's yeah, math I'm questions. I'll, I'll never get a six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, who's a mutator? Just, Muting in three, two, one. Okay, so I'm shocked we haven't done this very influential film up till now, but I look back and I didn't say anything about it. So here we go. Oh dear. Ten questions about The Matrix. Oh God. The first one, a simple one. What year was the film released? I'm giving you plus or minus three, so I'm being generous there. Ooh. Number two. What is the last name of the sibling writer producer team of The Matrix? Number three. This well received crime thriller film with a budget of just $6 million and a box office of seven, featuring characters Violet and Corky, was the sibling's directorial debut and put them in a position for creating The Matrix. So in case that wasn't clear, what film am I talking about there? Which, by the way, I watched for the first time, and that's what got me deciding to do this category. Uh, number four. The budget for The Matrix, the, uh, the next film for this team, was $63 million. What was the film's worldwide box office take in its initial release? Going to give you a... Big uh, stream there, plus or minus 20%. Plus why or minus the, 17 cents. Why are the questions not going in before the you read them? Number five. <laughs> you know how Janine gets. Jana Reeves' character's hacker name was Neo. What was his actual full name within the Matrix? She'll send her chickens on you. That, that's more than one word. Mrs. McBugs. Names don't count that way. Number six. <laughs> Transgender themes were noticed in the Matrix even before its creators came out as the opposite gender. 
one concept in the original draft, which did not survive into the final script, was that one of the Nebuchadnezzar's crew was a man in the real world, but a woman in the Matrix. What character was this? Switch, Trinity, Cypher, Dozer, or Morpheus? Number seven. The film is known for popularizing a visual effect which allowed a shot to progress in slow motion while the camera appears to move through the scene at normal speed. This has been described as a visual analogy for privileged moments of consciousness within the matrix. And throughout the film, the effect is used to illustrate characters' exertion of control over time and space. The method used for creating this effect involves a technically expanded version of a very old art photography technique known as time slice photography. But name the effect as it was constructed for the matrix. Number eight. To almost no one's surprise, the matrix won the Oscar for best visual effects. Name any one of the other three Oscars it won. And this might be the most esoteric of them all. Number nine, a 1981 philosophy book written by Jean Baudrillard, if I said that right, was required reading for the actors prior to filming. And it is shown on screen during the film. The hollowed out book was used by Neo to conceal illegal discs. Baudrillard had said that the Matrix misunderstands and distorts his work. Name the book. Thank you. And just just being clear here, Rob, you're yeah. asking Susan, who's going to be on your team and has expressed quite a bit of disdain for any sort of philosophy, to be naming a philosophy book. I, I'm just showing you I'm fair. Number 10, name either the prequel film. Thank you, Deborah, for sticking up for me. Or the most recent film in the franchise. <laughs> Either or. Oh, it's got Bob and it's got Ben on the team. We'll be fine. I can sit there and pick my nose and get, 10, <laughs> get out of 10. I hope that's right. All right. On any, screen, any I will be picking my nose. Make sure you stay tuned for the video. Any questions? Yeah, I mean, I do occasionally think of that when I do a category. And then I remember the yeah, time I wrote Wikipedia questions and you didn't know any of them. So. Yeah, but they were stupid Wikipedia hello. questions. They were about hello. like numbers and stuff. Hello, testing. Can you hear us? We have yeah. a question. Yeah. Caroline, is that the Hobbit background behind you? <laughs> yes, she says yes. Okay. Important that's questions. Important. Thank that's you. what I thought too, actually. Okay. That's what we really wanted to know. That's I thought so. Oh, and there I was admiring her den. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robert. I don't have the powers. Oh, well, so, my God, how is that possible? Somebody's not paying attention. Oh, my God, how so, would that so be? So somebody has to send everybody to the rooms. No, you got the power. No, you just sent it to me. All right, now I do. There we go. How could that be? Deborah, where do you win? One? You're in three. So can Susan pick her nose? Do you have this Ben and Bob? Yeah, I don't have all of them because some of these questions aren't really. He doesn't have them all. Like, He's only got a couple. They're they're like, what's what's the previous film that they made? And I'm like, I don't know. I know about the Matrix. I don't know about their previous film. Hey, what year was it? Released. All right, I'm gonna go visit some other rooms because can I watch you guys on YouTube? Two hundred okay. two thousand and three. No, 99. Earlier, it was 99. Yeah, it was going to be my guess, 99. I think 99 okay. within the... Oh, that's like either 99 years. or 98. Hey, yeah. what was the name of the sibling writer? Wachowski. Oh, how do you spell that? Oh, it's right here in front of me. It's right w there. A-C-H-O-W-S. Hey, do you have any idea, Bob? I have no clue what this previous movie that they were popular for was, or their directorial debut. No, I can't. We'll skip that one for now. Um, the budget was sixty-three. Well, how much money did it make? Ooh, 
It was in the 90s, so we have to account for that. It's not going to be as, as large as some of the movies now. Two hundred fifty million more than that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm no good with. But it is worldwide, so not just U.S. Shoot. Three hundred. Yeah, maybe three hundred. Because will three hundred still give us two fifty? Now here's the problem. What was his actual full name? It's Anderson. Right, but he called him Mr. Anderson throughout the whole damn movie, and I don't remember his actual real first name. Come on, Susan. Oh, Have I'm you seen sorry. This movie? I I saw yeah. the movie like 2000, uh, 1999. It was okay. I didn't like okay. it. It was really violent. It was so violent. Yeah, the awesome. Smiths. And they were just like killing people, like the Smiths got in the freeway and they just were killing everybody. And it was just like, how could you be so, they're, I, they're, I, I, I thought it was cruel. They were computer programs. That's what they Yeah. Were. But they weren't, they were real people. They died. Uh, it just felt well, really bad. Like the, these the people cool. are just going about their day. They're driving on the freeway and now they're all dead because of this guy who's zipping around. And I hate like superheroes like that. I was so... I think they're, I don't know if they're, you die in the Matrix. Yeah, you uh, died. Yeah, yeah, Your yeah, character yeah. was unplugged or whatever. You you let, let's you let's get off of this tangent, please, and answer questions. Then we can go yes. back to the tangent yes, after sir. the questions are answered. Yes, sir. Sorry. He's, uh, so we don't know his first name. Anderson. We know it's Anderson. Bullet can time. I put? Can I put Mr. Anderson? Does that count? That's his yeah. real first name. Uh, pretty sure six is a. Is everyone cool with that? Yeah. Because again, the whole point of the name being switch, and some of these people are uh, males in the real world, so or females in the real world. I mean, so they wouldn't count. Yeah. And then bullet time is every. Uh, that's the thing I've always heard it called. Do we like best cinematography for eight? That was just a guess on my part. Um, special, I mean, I would the visual effects, right? So I would think that something else that a movie that looked as violent. interesting as yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think a, a movie that looks as interesting as The Matrix maybe won best cinematography. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. just a guess. Yeah. Um, Susan, that philosophy book. You got that one. Yeah, but I don't want to show off because we're recording. Oh, okay. It because it would be really snotty if I knew it. How about, oh, I know what it is. It's that book called, um, I'm okay, you're okay. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> Even though I think that's from the 60s. So is it it or is it not it? Yeah, well, I was okay. Because if it's from '81, then we need yeah. to come up with a new name. I mean, we can leave that for now. I don't. I don't know. And Matrix Resurrection, I think, is what I put. The the most recent one. Yeah. I thought Resurrect it was no re, um, generation. Revolutions was that the. Was a, that was a. That was a. Was sequel. like the sequel, right? They yeah. just made a new Matrix movie, and I think that one's Matrix Resurrection, because they resurrected the whole thing. Resurrection or Generations? I don't I recall a movie it. called Generations. I saw Resurrections. It. Okay. Yeah. All right then. No, I Re Matrix I Reduxed. There you go. I like it. Is that real? Does that mean like reflex, like like when you have when you're when you have like heartburn and you reflux? Yeah, I'm trying to think Harper, of what they mean by the pre the prequel film. Uh, what prequel film do they mean? Unless they're talking about the Animatrix, the animated one. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, yeah, because that was. I think that did have. It was like a anthology, though, wasn't it? 
Yeah, it was like multiple things. Things, were, things that took place before the the first right. movie. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm so bummed that we didn't go with Little Red Corvette. Oh well, Little I had no clue. Red Corvette. I didn't know. Well, I didn't know which one. Well, if there's the thing where had, had we known it was a theme, thing. yeah, we might have come up with the said, color. I think we could have gone back and yeah, then it would have made and more. figured some stuff out. Oh well. Oh, I thought it was fine. I didn't catch it either, but Carolyn picked she up. Didn't on know. It. She didn't say anything. Kevin no, she doesn't just, have to though. Kevin just sees sees <laughs> themes where they aren't necessarily there. Well, but so. then Kevin is the master of the mystery theme, so I think <laughs> he's, he's always looking for a theme. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I okay. thought it was really brave of her to come up with something else in there too. Uh, this why? Category needs a theme. I keep having one. Kevin Anderson in my head, but I don't know if that's wrong or not. Yeah, it's could be. I um, Kevin. It doesn't look like a Kevin. I have no idea. His name I just, is I just, Kevin. They said Mister Anderson five Kevin! million times in it. Dinner's ready. Yeah. His name is not Kevin. It's got to be. It's got to be like Bruce or something. It's not Bruce. <laughs> or. <laughs> yeah. Chicken just told me. Um, it's got to be like Perry Anderson or. Perry Anderson. <laughs> Kevin, you it watch. is. You watch. Yeah, Kevin. 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 Kevin and Anthony come to dinner right now. You're gonna be in so much trouble. Hey, you two get along, you two. <laughs> I, I have cats that look like they're men. Stop it. So, uh, what? Uh, uh, no clue on this Violet and Corky. Uh, I have no idea. Violet and Corky. Oh. I'm I'm just drawing a blank. I have no idea. No idea. Seven million. That's a um, tiny, tiny film. Yeah. You know. But again, apparently it was. I think it was like enough. It was like. A, oh, I know what it was. It was Car Wash Three. <laughs> <laughs> I have an answer for everything, but we we're pretty sure this is wrong because we think that book is older Gold. than eighty one. Okay, so eighty one, a book on philosophy. He did say it was esoteric, so I have a feeling it's not going to be something anybody's going to probably know. Hmm. Wait, uh, shown on oh, shown on screen during the film, hollowed out book. Oh god, I never paid enough attention to the cover of the book when he opened it. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I didn't know I'd need the information someday. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, so best cinemato cinema cinematography, we think, huh? Was it? Uh, was it? No, they didn't. The book didn't have anything to do with the White Rabbit, right? They just told them over the over and the computer, was, follow the, the White, White Rabbit. Rabbit, and then they. <laughs> it wasn't like Alice in Wonderland or something. Is that considered philosophy? <laughs> it wasn't written in 1981. No, it wasn't much older than that. So, I have no idea. Um, yeah, and I really have no clue. I'd just be guessing on number three. So, um, crime thriller film. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Violet and Quirky. No, no clue. What is his name? Yeah, Kevin is probably wrong, but I just for life of me can't get that name out of my head. Dying, it's a much more masculine sounding name. Mm, not necessarily, because in the real world, uh, Anderson was anything but masculine. 
Really? He was, yeah, he was all it's like, just... he, he uh, sat in front of a computer all day and was like, you know, didn't really have any friends and. Yeah. But then in the, in the uh, computer world, he was a hacker and was very, you know, much more well-respected. Hmm. But again, that's not saying that the name that I'm guessing is correct. It could be completely wrong, but I really want just Mr. Anderson to be <laughs> correct. Unless it's a trick question, then they Are never you do sure reveal it's Anderson? His first name. Anderson just seems so blah. Oh, and it's Anderson. It's it's <laughs> one million percent <laughs> Anderson. Susan, that part I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt. I've watched the movie numerous times and, and the villain says Mr. Anderson uh, a bajillion it. times in the movie. I just can't remember his first name because he always calls him Mr. How about William? Anderson. William Anderson. It's Doesn't just generic right. enough to be Nancy Anderson. All right, I'm I'm ignoring you now, Susan, because you're just trying to come up with things to annoy me. They called him. They called him. Peanut. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't slip over to that pool table and have some other brandy? They or called what? him. They called him Peanut for short. <laughs> <laughs> what is What is wrong with you? William William Peanut Anderson. Bill Anderson, William Anderson. Bill Anderson. William H. Macy Anderson. <laughs> William William P. Anderson. <laughs> the P stands for peanut. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh man. man. Um, it's I bet you that's yes. what they did. They called him peanut. Well, sure, that's exactly what they did. <laughs> And it said in all the script, peanut. peanut. Oh, what is it? Oh, we 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 got 111 seconds. Dun dun dun. I don't even know if once I hear that movie that they made prior to the Matrix that I'll even recognize it. Well, uh, are you into thriller? Inexpensive thrillers. It only made seven million dollars. That would. But I mean, the, right. And the whole point thriller. is, what's a they crime were like, thriller? They were nobodies before the Matrix, okay. so I don't a even crime, know if anyone knows it. Would a crime thriller be like what's that raining movie with the with the movie that it rains and they have robots, people are clones, and they're um, you're talking about uh, Blade Runner. See, Blade you know Runner. what I was talking about, right? Yeah, so that's a crime thriller, right? Sure. So, Blade Runner four. There you go. No. The, there is a Blade Runner 2 and it was millions and millions. There was a Blade Runner 4? No. There's a there's only two. Yeah, there was Maybe a Blade Runner 3. Sequel. And that's where we forgot. Years, 40 years later. No. Peanut. <laughs> Peanut gallery. I got a. Oh. <laughs> I got a leg cramp. <laughs> I don't know. I'm wondering if he actually had a name. I'm just gonna call him Mr. Anderson. Yeah, okay. Mr. Anderson. Because I think that's his actual name. I don't know. Maybe he didn't have a first name, and that's why I can't remember it. So I'm gonna say Mr. Anderson. That was a very popular. Come here. Aww. Okay, Susan, you knew all of those, right? Nothing to do with time travel. You're muted, too. I didn't want to show off. Oh, okay. I, I can understand that. I got the philosophy book. Whoa. If you indeed did, you think you did. Okay, we'll see. I got a philosophy book. <laughs> but I think it was from the 60s, so. Okay, so let's go through these. Uh, I will paste all the answers in. After nice, Deborah's back. She was going to go shoot her, shoot her laptop in the. <laughs> mm. That was your idea. 
<laughs> it worked. It scared it. Look, it's back. It may be. <laughs> okay, so, Robert. So I hope, uh, oh, Janine, what happened to Janine? She's She probably hit the wrong button. She Wait, went out. closer to the end. <laughs> Thing. Yep, there she, there she comes. Here she comes. She's embarrassed by our score. Okay, so num <laughs> number number one. And she comes. There was a really interesting argument where people were dead sure that they knew it in uh in uh one of the groups. Uh so let's see, Mr. Wolf, what do you think? Uh it was 1999. We got it. Oh man, ah. we're way up. Ah. So plus or minus, uh, I gave you the three. So ninety six to two thousand two, I'll give you. And ah. and Susan will be uh, happy to know that I remembered it based on who I was dating at the time, as she always. What number? Said, I what number was he? <laughs> what number was he, Karen? He was number. He was number. He was number five. That, that year fun. or total? total? Number five. These guy. are all more more than one year. People have dated for more than one year. So she numbers her men. <laughs> don't become one of karen's numbers no you should i highly recommend it i'm a good girlfriend <laughs> well why are they gone because they're bad boyfriends i don't want to get married oh they that's sweet okay uh viewers tune into the next episode we'll hear more about karen's uh, love life. Uh, all right. number number you need two. to come to my house and hang out we have some long talks over here Number two, the last name of the sibling writer producer team. And I said siblings, I couldn't say brother or sister because they've been both. They're the Wachowskis. It, the uh, the uh, thing on the film says by the Wachowski brothers, and now they are the Wachowski sisters, as a matter of fact. Well, both of them are sisters? Yep. 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 They both they, were they both they sis yes. Yep. They sistered? Yep. Yes. Okay. Wow. Number, no oh, hi, Adrian. Is that you want to oh Catch and me. number three is um yeah a movie i had never seen until i stumbled across it like a couple months ago and, I, and then i i read about it and i said oh this is the wachowski's herself so i should do something on the matrix so it was bound from yep. 1996. oh wow. well we, we we went all over that and i finally came to the point where like this is, just give up you yeah just we're not we're not we're not we're never out of our brain one. It, so it was a, uh, you know, I recommend it. It was a really a good movie, good yeah. crime thriller. Yeah. For uh, what budget. sucks is I good on the DVD if you listen to the director commentary. All right, uh, number number uh, four. This one people were all over the place. Mm -hmm. So it was produced for sixty three mil and it made four hundred and sixty three and change. Oh, oh see, we should have stuck with four hundred. So, so the range, stuck with our original the range is three hundred seventy and <laughs> change <laughs> to five hundred fifty six and change. Oh, mm -hmm. you said three three seventy. I apologize to my team. Eight one three. Should be ashamed. It wasn't out. wasn't high enough. That's okay. <laughs> Robin, uh, give you this time, Robin. So, so Keanu Reeves' character, uh, hacker name was Neo, and if everyone remembers at least the last name from Agent Smith, constantly calling him Mr. Anderson. So Can we Thomas have that Anderson. just be the answer. I think we got yes. one point. I First think. name is Mr. <laughs> name Anderson. <laughs> Uh, I, I said the full name, so I, uh, I know with Thomas Anderson. Uh, Thomas, lame. I told you it was something benign like that. It wasn't Kevin. Number six. Cause, cause I told Kevin you I, so much more benign. Than I Thomas. said it was William Peanut Anderson. <laughs> yes, you said everything but Thomas, so I don't. It doesn't really matter. Number well, six. People are going to kick themselves. What is number six answer? people are going Thomas to Anderson. Thomas Anderson. Thomas Peanut Anderson. Thomas. Thomas Anderson. John. <laughs> number <laughs> number six. Yeah, He's coming for you, Susan. I know. Number six. Oh, so this one was so obvious that people didn't want to do it because it was so obvious. It was a somebody who switched gender. So it was switch. A. Hey. Hey. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. Number seven. Uh, this people should have gotten because it was talked about for decades and every commercial was copying it for years. It was bullet time. Bullet time. Is bullet enough or bullet time? Bullet time. Bullet time. Bullet time. Bullet time. Number Rob, did you hear the question? No. We said bullet effect. No, bullet time. 
Yeah. Well, the fact is what Penn and Teller. I'm not going to be as good as as a nice Lynn. as as Brandy was and gave you guys Alien from Martian. I couldn't believe she did that. <laughs> she was intimidated. I know. I told yeah. her to stand up for herself. The Martian girl, not Alien girl. Um, let's see the um, this the uh, award that it won besides the obvious one for best most movie. violent. Was I'll name the three. You got to get one of these, and you got to be exact because these are most Vegemite. <laughs> Film editing, yes. okay. Sound or okay. sound effects editing. Oh. Most violent. <laughs> Worst script. Number nine. So Somebody did anybody me. get this? Simulacra and simulation. Oh my gosh! We all got Bill. it. Yes, yeah, Bill got it. Bill got it. Very good. Ah, it. Very good job, good. Bill. What? <laughs> yep. Very good. He likes books. And number 10, the prequel was The Animatrix from 2003. And the final film, I didn't hear anybody say this one right, was The Matrix Resurrections, plural, from 2021. Revolution was God. earlier. So I'm going to paste all the answers in for Susan and everyone else. Question, if we said Matrix. I said Resurrections. Oh, you said that? OK. Yeah. I didn't yeah. type the S, but. I can, yeah. All right. Okay. 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 We put, you want to know what our philosophy book was? <laughs> yeah, what was it? I, I'll say it if only if other people put what their books were. Dynetics. <laughs> uh, Ours was <laughs> not <laughs> that, that would have been no, hysterical. That would have been perfect. It's not that big, but we know it That's was what right. I wanted it to be, but Kyle talked me out of it because he knew it was right. I was wrong. Ah. Uh, so Carl had it? Yeah. No, yeah, he had it. But I, oh, I just... Had said to Carl, you do that too? <laughs> see, see, Susan, that's the equivalent of my side. You know, Rob, <laughs> and just for your benefit, in yeah. my background, that is the bridge of size. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I love that's it. That's for you, Rob. And we'll right. use that for your video, a compultation of Rob's size. Scores. Okay, so, so wait, I have to say what it was, the book we had. The book we had was I'm okay, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a philosophy? A little better than book? green eggs and ham. That's a psychology book. I went to, to preschool oh, with their kids. See? Oh, really? But I thought that was from the 60s. So that's too early for everything I need to know. I learned in the 70s, I think. Okay, let's get over to the scores because I have to, you know, it's funny because if I do something and I do something out of order, or if I miss up a little bit, you guys get all upset. Funny. I'm just making up this. We just made this up. It's all made We're up. We're not really upset. We're just laughing because it's something funny. No, I'm saying if if I didn't show the scores. Oh, yes. At this yes. moment in the game, I would be in so much trouble. Yes, we would lynch you. Yeah, Rob, you need to move your little thing. Look at you right here. <laughs> move your thingy. Make you go away. <laughs> Okay, so who, here's the question. Who gets Adrian? Oh, I think we need Adrian. Bob's in a bed. I we think might we know. Know. We're going to know in a minute. Because who gets Adrian? Oh. All right. That's right. So, two Bob's in a bin. Well, we didn't want round one to be lonely, so we got another five. <laughs> <laughs> I was picking my nose the whole time. You did hey, look, we're well. tied for the we're tied. Woohoo! <laughs> That's Rob's team, by the way. All right, drinking and playing pool. We got a total of one. Wow. I'm surprised you didn't get a negative. No. no. Hey, we're we trying, we're we trying to compete. Wachowskis and we got that was the one, one we nope, we did not. What no, was the other we one? Not. We really want Adrian no. on their team. <laughs> no, we got two. We, we got the Wachowskis and we got another one. Let me. What, what other, other one? one did we get? Let's see. The year? I was looking oh, curious yeah. to know. Oh, we were off by, um, um, we, we, sh we had 95. We didn't know we that got we, we had 250,000. on top of that. <laughs> and we didn't and have the guy's one. first name. Thanks, Danny. We did not pick the right Never mind, um, we got name. one. Okay, I yes. give up. <laughs> okay, Fox <laughs> News is plum tuckered out. I had three. three. Yeah, three. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that was Ringer that. has Stop sprung. Count. I don't feel Nine. so bad getting Nine. a five now. How many? Uh, Nine. Nine? Nine? 
nine. Which wow. one did you guys miss? The box, uh, office. box office. Oh, yeah. We did, too. I guessed a little low. We were way low. <sighs> what did Don and Tucker have in common? Nine. Nine. Oh, yeah, we said we said four hundred million. Oh. Then we said, "Now nah, that's too much for those nineteen ninety nine. Let's yeah. cut it down to like two hundred. Then we said, "That's exactly that's too what high. Let's did. cut it down to that's one." That's exactly what yeah. we said too. Because in nineteen ninety nine dollars, I mean, yeah, it was a different yeah. different world. We said three hundred. So ugh. unless unless Rob yeah, we're adjusted there. the money, but Tom, guess where Adrian's going? No, no, uh. no. Yeah, which one? <laughs> No, she's she's going on drinking and playing pool with the drunk people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so everybody smile and make yourself beautiful because we're going to do our photo. And you guys are so cute. I love that you guys do this. You're all like... <laughs> uh, it's like your favorite there, part of the day. Rock, when I look at your guys' pictures on, on Facebook, it's like you can see your picture section. It's just all these pictures of you guys. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> One and a two and a three. Okay, let's see. What are you holding, Ron? <laughs> yeah, Deanna Troy. Oh, cool. You've got Deanna Troy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did you get it? Yeah, I got it. That's awful. Okay. Oh my god, he's got oh. Deanna Troy. Oh, that looks like a blow up doll. That right. Right. Work. Yeah, right. like a doll. yeah, I was kind of like, hmm. what, one more person there, and you'd have a threesome. Oh, there he is. You listen to yourself. Oh. Do we have a break? <laughs> yeah, going to break. Oh, okay. break time. Break. I'm gonna... Are we saying goodbye to Mike. Bye to Mike. Bye, to Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. Bye, Mike. I'm going to do chicken cam. Hang on. I'm chicken cam. Da, na, na, na. No. I need to go see if my chickens are in bed yet. It's kind of early. Ooh, hey, cool. did you hear that Buffalo's having an eclipse, Janine? What? Buffalo, New York is going to, they're having an eclipse in 2024. I know, but it's, yeah, that's going to be rainy for them. I'm considering Mexico or Texas. One of my co-workers' brother lives in Austin. Oh, Yeah, so I'm gonna go see if my chickens are in bed. Okay, then I can close them up so nothing gets them. Photo, let me put the photo. Photo. Where Kyle said he wasn't gonna be here this week, right? I think I remember him saying that. Uh oh, what happened? It's quiet. Everybody's muted. Everybody's muted. Oh, I just that I was talking. You were muted. I didn't hear anything. I saw your mouth moving. <laughs> Nobody else is here. We're, we're not muted. Oh. I can hear Richard. I was going to share something, but there's not enough people here. I'll come back. I will come back. Oh! Pardon my French. Oh, come on. You know what I can do this? What? Right here. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. It's not a straight job. It is a straight job. Ron, last week you said that you didn't know where your brother was. You're muted. <laughs> I unmuted. Um, yeah, I didn't realize he had already left for Europe at that point. 
was going to say, because I had already oh, seen yeah. a picture of him in Leipzig or someplace and I was like, was he pulling our legs with that? I don't know where my brother is. Yeah, yeah I, I knew he was going off to visit Avi and, and do a tour around Europe, but I just didn't get the timing straight that he had already okay. gone. He looks like he's having a great time. Uh, definitely, yeah. It's a perfect time of the year to be in a place like Venice. I think today was Venice because um, it's not too hot and the tourists aren't there yet. At least the mobs of tourists aren't there yet. Yeah, we're, we're doing a cruise in, in July to Europe. So that could Ooh. be interesting because yeah. it gets very hot at that time of year. Very hot, yeah. Don't you know, it's, it, I lived in Germany for four years. I lived, My dad was in the military and we lived in Stuttgart from 1976 to 1980. And it was never hot. We, it was a joke. I have a picture of myself behind our apartment building wearing a ski jacket in August, my birthday. It's really, the climate has really changed in Europe. Um, it is, I, we, were, we were in France around 2017 in the summertime. And oh my God, it was 100 degrees every day. It's so humid. It was awful. Yeah, yeah well, my, I went to Prague back in 2015 in august and it was over 100 degrees every day same thing in budapest we went there afterwards and that's i'm concerned because this is a paris to it's a cruise from paris a river cruise from paris to prague and i keep thinking that means we're going to end up in prague about the same time of year so great i get to see yeah. prague in 100 degree weather yet again wear shorts <laughs> yeah yeah I, I know the climate change is really affecting the wine production in germany like mm. they traditionally Germany has been noted for their sweet wines and right. yeah. just having trouble producing them. And so Germany is now shifting to dry wines as their yeah. central focus. I totally get it. So they sing how dry I am. <laughs> I, but I'll, I actually, Ron, I'll be interested to hear about this cruise. Are you doing what, what cruise line are you in on? It's Viking. Viking. I want to hear about it because I, huh? I want to know if I should go on a Viking yeah. cruise. So yeah, I need. Mean, so. Yeah, we've been talking about for a while. Originally, we were going to do a tour of Iceland, but my mm -hmm. wife's got a bad knee, and so a lot of what we were going to do is a lot of hiking. That wasn't going to happen. So yeah. we said, nope, we're going to go for the old folks tour uh, on a boat. And uh, yeah, no, no. we have. Well, my husband's the same thing. He's he's got. Uh, a whole bunch of physical limitations so it, like the first category, we're so. not going to be hiking <laughs> yeah um, so. so so this is going to be more of you know little day trips and stuff out at the various like places uh, one part that we're looking forward to is that i don't know how they're doing it but they're going to take a trip down to heidelberg which is where my wife went to school in germany Ooh, was, she she a, was she a military uh, kid too no no she just she went to Heidelberg in, in Ohio and then took a year to go and study German in Heidelberg, Germany. Oh, wow. really? That's yeah. the city that has the castle, right? Yep. Yes, right. I've on been the river. there. Boy, they have the best, amazing museum inside that um, castle. Hmm. It's a pharmacy museum. I've actually never been to Heidelberg, it's, even though I lived very near there for four years. It's when a couple years ago, somebody took me there. They just said, here we are in Heidelberg, Susan. I'm like, oh, wow. It's, it's yeah. nice. each, each time we've gone back, this will be about, I think, our fourth trip to Heidelberg. On our honeymoon, we actually flew into London, rented a car, and then drove to Heidelberg. <laughs> my wife wanted to see her college. Hmm. And that was a lot of fun because we rented a car. It was a stick shift in oh, England. <laughs> So everything's right on the drive. wrong side and all yeah. that stuff. Finally started getting used to that, then trust the ch the channel, and now have to drive with the car with everything on the wrong side, but mm -hmm. driving on the right side of the road. You're on like you're Autobahn. alive. <laughs> on the Autobahn, 90 miles an hour. I would, yeah, and then I driving would, on the yeah. Autobahn at 90 miles an hour and getting passed by Mercedes. Yeah. Well, that, that's a good <laughs> testament to your relationship with your wife, because if you hadn't have died that day, I can guarantee your wife or you, one of you would have killed each other if you hadn't had a good relationship. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it with any of my, no. I'd be yelling at them or they'd be yelling at me. Oh, we've, we've We're going to die. So We're going to die. So many, we've done so many driving trips and stuff like that. That's, you know, we're used to that. That's nice. See, that's sweet. 
they say that if for a relationship, if you're thinking of marrying somebody, you should wallpaper a bathroom with them. <laughs> oh, I just let her do that on her own. <laughs> they say to- we had a, we had wallpaper in our bathroom when I was growing up, and it's a terrible idea to put wallpaper in a bathroom in the first place. Yes. Well, or a closet or something. Right. My mother used to be a wallpaper hanger. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You can do that for a living? You could then in the 70s. Yeah. The 70s, yeah, in the 70s, uh, early 70s. They still have guys do that. Uh-huh. A lot of painters do it too. They either paint or wallpaper. Uh, my mom joke. made a my mom made a killing on wallpaper because she is she's a seamstress. She's always been a crafter. And she did perfect wallpaper, whereas men do sloppy wallpaper. My oh, mother did like wow, that's artist, very that's very wallpaper. Well, that's a very need, sexist I need thing people's to say. Opinion. I need people's it opinion. is. It's true. Richard though. says he's trying to trying to get our I need, opinion. I need, I need your opinion. I have a joke, and I want to know if it's funny. No. No. Okay. Yes. That's easy. Wow. Let's move on now. <laughs> what on what's, the, what's the joke? All right. There's a group of scientists protesting. And they, they, they got packed, they got their placards, and they're marching up and down. And you, the protest is what do we want? Doppler effect. When do we want it? Now. Oh. <laughs> that is mildly amusing. I like it. I, I agree with mildly amusing. Mildly, mildly amusing. Mildly amusing. Yeah, that's much, a good, much yeah. better after half a bottle. Mildly of amusing. I, 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 when I, I like it, it but it depends on your audience. Yeah, if, if the audience doesn't get it, then it's not funny. I got it, this but it's, is, everyone in this audience gets, gets it. <laughs> Next week, I'm speaking at the uh, Week and Reason conference in Calgary. And I'm actually going to ditch my whole talk and just do jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a brilliant idea. While you're I think I'm going to lock him in the basement, I think. <laughs> I think I, I can't think of it. Did Deborah just free, leave, okay. leave again? Here's here the good math joke for you, Richard. What does yeah. the B in Benoit, Benoit B. Mandelbrot stand for? No. Benoit B. Mandelbrot. <laughs> oh, no. Was that a joke? Because I just was picking the nose or something. Uh, I, I wasn't paying attention. That's though. good. I don't get it at all. Yeah, and you, you, you got to say it quieter though. And each time you say it, you say it's smaller and quieter. Yeah, a little bit quieter. Ah, uh, yeah. The is that, is that like that song? It's it's a reference to the fractal Mendelbrot set. Oh, I see. Vegemite and cheese is disgusting. Vegemite and cheese. Sort of all right. What's the name of that song? John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. That's what I'm thinking of. Jingleheimer Smith. Oh, we go out. The people love we shout. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Jingleheimer. Jingleheimer Schmidt. So, Adrian, did you come on just to hear my category? I did. Did That's, you? He's been talking about it all week. <laughs> you gotta you scare the dad dad jokes now. for Canadians. It, it, Dad jokes for Canadians. Yeah. Oh. Simba oh. Tandy. What? I know you over tangent B equals. I get it. Cos, it was co- it's Cosby. Cosby. Oh. Oh. I don't get it. Simba. Sine over tangent equals cosine. Cos. Like sine of over cosine. No. Cosby. Yeah. Sine of rain over cos of rain equals tangerine. <laughs> ah, <yes>. Nice. <laughs> Okay, oh, I'm just letting Deborah know that she. she oh no, Deborah's right here. Deborah, I do. Who is everybody tonight? We have such a small group. A lot I of know. Our I don't remember putting out permission slips for other people to be missing once or twice. A couple oh. people can go, but not this many. So, I know. so Susan, for announcement, do you think either Richard or Brian are sober enough to tell us what's on their podcast this coming week? <laughs> <laughs> they have a they have a podcast. You gotta. That be might kidding. actually be kind of fun. Here they go. Okay, okay, go for it. Let's hear him. <laughs> okay, coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, Adrian Hill interviews noted Indian skeptic Abhijit Chanda about Abhijit. I just want to say, see, I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> Abhijit Chanda about, amongst other things, Ayurvedic medicine. And I, in the trove segment, look at the 
works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle when it came to his belief in fairies. Much Ooh. more than that coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Now here's Could you Ryan repeat Dunn. that? You faded. I can hear him. What he said I is that there was a Skeptoid episode memory. that came out six months ago, and so he's copying it for his. <laughs> <laughs> Could you say it again, holding the cue balls on your eyes? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, and he does it too. I I I actually thought he was copying me because I had an article with who I did an interview with with Abhijit um, (laughs) last month. I want to hear what he's going on Skeptoid because they never get to hear anything. Next week on the Skeptoid podcast, we have part three of our three-part episode on the treasure of Victorio Peak based on the January 2023 Discovery Channel series, Gold Lies and Videotape, which was full of shit and promoted false mythology, and everyone in the world believed it. So we're doing a Skeptoid episode on it. Brian, Brian, I want to know. I must know. I must know. Inquiring minds must know. So in your second episode on this, you said, my geology friend, was that your son? Yeah, so initially he said he did not want to be named, um, which makes sense because since he's my son, he's got the last name. It sounds like he's not very impartial. Um, but uh, then he thought differently because he's he's got his thesis is out there right now and they're like working to approve it. So he said, well, I can't hurt to have another reference out there. So I edited the transcript this morning to put his name in there by his request. Oh, that's but cool. Yeah, it, was, it was totally impartial. He didn't know anything about the show or the myth or the legend or anything. I was just sending him questions and, you know, what's the what's the structure of under this particular peak and this particular mountain range? And, you know, this is what's shown on the show and how is that geologically plausible? And is there any chance that there might be a chamber under this? And he I like the slice. The he said slice. You guys were saying like sliced bread, a loaf of bread that's been sliced. And then all of a sudden I got it. Whenever you said that, I was able to understand uh, what you're talking you about. If you want to know more, then Google better geology. Better that's his, geology that's his YouTube Andrew channel. Dunning. Subscribe to the Better Geology channel on YouTube. It's, it's, it's so as soon as, as, soon as Dun, Dunning says... I have consulted my geology friend. I said, and I was listening to it. I, I think on my walk, I think I said, you mean your son, Andrew? <laughs> it's very convenient to have an in-house geologist. I thought that was and, sweet. And I also have an in-house physicist. Too, yeah, I daughter. thought that was really sweet that you, you, you know, that it was like your worlds collided there. And, and right now he has an in-house drunk. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't puke on the table. Okay, who else? Me. She's the in-house astrophysicist, not the in-house physicist. Okay, we must have these correct. Thank she doesn't you. Don't know anything about particle physics, she says. Or how about nine ball? <laughs> All right, who's got something up next? Kyle's not here, so. Hey, Robin. this is Kyle from Data Skeptic. I'm still in. Well, I mean, calling surveys, surveys on. I, I want to say something just before my category is revealed. I'm doing the bonus. I did send it to Kyle. Okay, just that's important to know, and it will make sense later. I sent it to Kyle. Okay. Okay. I I I do want to mention something I mentioned to Adrian when it was her, her and I alone in the main room when she joined when you guys are off in breakout rooms. So in the, uh, I think three weeks ago episode, I'm catching up after vacation on the skeptic zone, they read a list of UFO sightings. And uh, just, I I wasn't reading along with them because I was uh, just in my car, but two of them that you read consecutively didn't seem to make sense. And so I just went in and I fixed it because Wikipedia was confusing, (laughs) so. If, any, if anyone does what uh, I did and, and goes to say, wait, it's not what they read, because now it's different. Okay, what I got have coming up is, let's see, tomorrow night on my ch- YouTube channel, I'm going to upload a video that I'm going to record tomorrow night of an interview with one of Thomas John's Psychic Medium's big critics. Used to be a fan. Uh, and I have some screenshots that should just be really damning. 
And so that'll be fun. So I'm talking to her. It's the first time I've had an interview with somebody like that before. So that's tomorrow night. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be talking to Kenny Biddle, Donnie, Donna Biddle, and Rob Palmer. We're going to be going over the whole case. No, what? What? What was that, Rob? I didn't hear a sigh or anything. So we're going to be talking about Operation Peach, Peach Pit, which was actually very unknown. It's Matt Frazier. It's not, it was in the New York Times, but it's always overlooked. So we're going to talk about that from different perspectives. So we're going to explain Operation Peach Pit. So you should probably read the articles again, Rob. He's and claiming he made he made you look like a fool in that. That's what he's claiming, Matt Fraser. Oh, he said that in that article, huh? Yeah. Yeah, no. he said he said he proved you wrong that he has powers and you made him famous. Right. And that I made him famous. And then he also says that the New York Times reporter changed his mind or whatever like that. And it's like bullshit. But that's okay. We'll set this straight. We're going to go through and we're going to talk about what happened and the planning of it and everything. I don't know if we'll get into that too much, but maybe. So we're going to do that and I'll upload it. And then that's on Sunday. That should be out. I've got like six more videos I did of Thomas John um, reading in 2016. It was really interesting because I started out not watching any of the videos. It's like a call-in radio show. So the first one's a cold reading, second one's a cold reading. And the third one, I was like, wow, he got a bunch of stuff right in here. And I ended the video saying he really did well. I'm very, uh, that, that was amazing, Thomas John. I can't explain it. And then I recorded that and I uploaded it to YouTube thinking that everything was cold reading because it was 2016, it's old. And then I wake up in the morning and there's a message from somebody with a screenshot saying, no, it was all hot reading. I was on the show and here's here's an example of him um, exchanging an email with me about being on the show. Huh. I'm like, well, so now I had to go back and change all the videos to say have that little disclaimer at the beginning. And so that woman who sent me that screenshot, she is the one that I'm going to be interviewing tomorrow night. And she's got more screenshots with more in-depth conversations with Thomas John about being on that show. So he was not only the people calling in, did he know them? He was having conversations about what they were going to talk about, apparently. So it's it was, that should be interesting. And Thomas John is making, saying he's coming to Selena's <laughs> to do a show in Selena's because I'm his biggest fan, which is bullshit. He's not coming to Selena's. <laughs> It's interesting that no matter what Thomas John says to try to trash you, Susan, what he, he never says, I'm going to sue you for defamation. He never says that. Yeah, you notice that. You know why? Because he's terrified of the law. And I'm also very careful. I try to be careful and not say he's a liar and piece of, I can say he's a piece of scum, but I can't really say he's a con man or a liar. So yeah. I think you but can, don't you say though, that? Because I think you do say he's a con man and a liar. I think you I don't can use say words. He's... I think you can because he has to prove that he's not. He does not want to be subject no. to discovery. Believe me. Truth is an absolute defense to defamation. Yeah, I think he's worried. And and oh, and if you guys stick around, if we're we're doing well on time, I will explain what happened with the psychic uh, that was working for him. If you guys want to hear about that, I just don't want yes. to do it on recording. So yes. anyway, let's get back. So Absolutely. here we are. We are at nineteen, ten, seven, twelve, and nineteen. It is close for two categories two people two groups and everybody else sucks all right <laughs> some worse than others so i've added adrian to the drunk team oh no because i thought that oh, i thought so that good. i thought vincent robin and deborah might actually be able to counteract those two but apparently they couldn't so we're adding eight or throwing adrian in there we, we can barely get their attention Okay, well, Deborah's, Deborah's internet okay. keeps going in and out on her, so that's and what's going on. They, they've been helpful. Have they? They, they have. They actually have. They have. But, but it's well, so I'm hard to be, get their I'm, 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 I'm on that team next, so I'll find out. They've got more answers than we've gotten, and that's with two hands that, tied behind their backs. because That's they're true, because <laughs> they're drunk and they're playing pool. <laughs> All right. So in that's my it. category, they better be 10 out of 10, because... Yeah. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there, so... I'm going to go play pool. Well, let me make that nine out of 10. Then. He's drinking root beer, diet root beer. <laughs> I've got diet Dr. Pepper right here. Okay, Vincent, you're up. Okay. Category is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
Oh yeah. Oh. Awesome. To the galaxy? Yes. To the galaxy, not to the universe? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Susan. Really? Yeah. Wow. She's that's gonna do so really cool. good in this category. Oh, yes. yes. You've never read it? What are you talking about? I probably have it memorized. We'll find out in a minute, won't except we? For, except for the name. <laughs> sure. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go. We can do this. Oh, I just thought, what? Okay. Okay, uh, is somebody going to mute us? Not that it matters. Am I the only one talking? Yeah. That's wonderful. That's good. Who wrote the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy books? God, these are easy. Uh, copy, not cut. I'm surprised we've never done this category before. How many books are there in the Hitchhiker's Trilogy? <laughs> Not obvious. Or is it? Well, don't say anything. Let's see. This one's kind of a long answer. Answer? Yeah. How does the book begin? What do you mean by that? Like what's what is the storyline? Not uh, like yeah. opening sentences. Yeah, how does it begin? Okay, got it. You don't want what happens. Okay, yeah. I'd have trouble with the first few sentences. You just you just want a narrative description. Yeah. Yeah, you know, in a sense, yeah. Mm. And number better, four. better guidance than we want a narrative description in a sense. Apparently not. Do you want like the exact text of the first sentence? Do you want or do you want a, a vague notion of the first chapter? Just, what, what are we looking for? Yeah. Vague. Vague. What what happened? What is okay. the 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 opening? Okay, gotta, yeah, narrative. Narrative. The narrative. You mean big picture, right? Yeah. No. <clears throat> uh number four. How did Ford Prefect get his name? Uh, and number five is kind of my favorite. Copy and paste. Why should you always know where your towel is? If you haven't read the book. You'd be totally lost. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm reaching under my desk. There's my towel. <laughs> <laughs> I always know where my towel is. Cool. I'm doing and, it. And I don't know if people could see my t shirt, but it's actually on my t. The answer is oh, no, you can't, but I'm not going to get up and show you. So. Uh, what is the answer to the ultimate question from the book? Um, and there was something in there, a certain animal or sort of animal. What were the dolphins saying? It's actually a song in the the... Critically acclaimed movie. Number eight is kind of obscure. What is Earth according to the book? Number nine, what is the most intelligent species on Earth? Uh, 
Copy 10 and number 10 is my favorite too. In the critically acclaimed movie, which actor voiced Marvin the paranoid android? That's it. You guys can go to your rooms. I love you, Vincent. Finally, yeah. somebody wrote a category that I actually know an answer to. You better be coming to our room, Susan. I'm going to room three. Oh, good. So let me put people in the rooms real quick here. Hold on. I'll be right there. I'm in the wrong room, Susan, for some reason. Okay. Well, will you have your power still? Adrian is going to go to three. Oh, I'm going to go see you right now. That's right. Janine is going to go to four. Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay, see you in a minute. have to have the full name. Number one, full name, or you don't get it. Scott Adams. Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams. Right. Douglas Adams. Mm. There's four books in the trilogy. Where is uh uh what um? Do you have your powers, uh, right, Vincent? Yeah, I do. Okay, go uh, go run around. Two, so I'm gonna get complaints from him. So I expect it's, it's the answer is four. I would expect that. Yeah, it's four. Yeah. And how does the book begin? He's in his house coat, looking out the window over. His yeah, kitchen yeah. window, and you see the bulldozer the, coming up. The, the local council coming to bulldoze, bulldoze his house. He is persuaded to go away by um, Ford, Ford Prefect, Prefect. Pub, but from which they're seconded up to to a UFO. So that's basically right. The, okay. yeah. That hug in the sky, much in the way that bricks don't. That's right. Oh, you guys are awful. Ford Prefect. He got his name because it was like the most commonly used name yeah. Yeah, words on a, Earth. An, an analysis that came up. Which was the name of a car? Or, or I thought it'd be helpful in this category, but you guys already know all this stuff. Next question. Can you shut up and let us do the work, please? Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you should always, I have my towel. Do you guys know where your towel is? Yes. Next question. No. <laughs> What's the next question? Where? Why should you always know where your towel is? Well, that's a bit of a vague question. Yeah, that's because that's it's, crazy. Right? Because it's very useful. It's used so for it's like it's important. Uh, it's vital. Any 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 one of the above. You could fight off you fight, fight off things with it. It absorbs it peanuts and beer or something. I think and you always know where you're telling. You should always help you escape <laughs> from things. Oh yeah, you can distract <laughs> somebody with it. But, but because you should always know where you tell it. It's just important. I don't know. I, it's very I don't useful. Know what, I don't know what answer he's up. Anyway, go on. Just keep it vague. Just keep it vague. Next question. The answer, the answer to the ultimate question is 42. 42. 42. What were the dolphins saying? So long and thanks for all the fish. Hey, but what's the question? Read the question. What are the dolphins saying? Is that the questions? Yeah. Okay, they're saying so long. And thanks for all the fish. For all the fish. It okay. was misinterpreted as a amazing attempt to whistle the Star Spangled Banner. And they did some flip <laughs> or something in it too. Earth, what is Earth? A computer that was designed to answer the to answer the answer the life and universe, life, universe, and everything. Right? Can you read the question, please. What is Earth? What is Earth? Earth is a computer uh, generated program to ask uh, to answer the question. So yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. That's what yeah. she said. And the question is the, uh, the life so universe. The life, the universe, and everything. Just what is the answer, the answer to the answer, So now it's correct. I did this hurt. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Number nine. What is the most intelligent species on Earth? And the answer is mice. mice. Ten. I do not know. What is it? What is really in the critically movie. acclaimed movie, which actor voiced Marvin the Paranoid Android? I really didn't watch the movie. It just once, and I'd never know actors' names. Does anyone know when it, when it came out, approximately? What do you, what I never it, saw it. I just read it. 
I went to the movie no, theater no, no, to see no, it, no, and, but the boys were all living at home, movie. so a long time ago. I mean, Alan Tudyk has been doing all those, all those characters forever. Could it be Alan Rickman? What did Richard say? Alan Imagine. Rickman, he said. Are you sure or are you just guessing? No, no, it, it's just the name that flashed in my head. I'm not sure. But, yeah, yeah you know what? It could be because that, that's the guy who played Snape yeah. in the movies, and he has that kind of voice. Uh, the only reason I said it is because the name flashed into my head. Whether it's wrong or right, I don't know. I think it could be Alan Rickman. That does sound really, right. It's ringing some bells with me. He let's, has let's that voice, it. so yeah. Then I suggest we put it simply because it, it, it takes in my head and rings bells about people in my I don't understand what he's saying. Something about his head. <laughs> That's what I heard too. <laughs> but I think I think Alan Rickman is a very good guess. That fits completely. It's the right time. Like, why is you guys' um sound so bad there? Like I'm I could be people complain that they can hear my husband sneezing in the next room and I can't hear you guys. This is how we record our podcasts. What's wrong? Because <laughs> they're drunk. <laughs> That's why. How many people know that I actually do skeptoid every day? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. I'm glad I'm recording this. Skeptoid. I'm Brian Dunning from Skeptoid.com. Yeah, I've got the little microphone that we got for doing the thing out in the Dunning, Dunning, do outside. Dunning, do do your do the intro to Skeptic Zone. <laughs> 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 yes, this is the Skeptic Zone podcast. No, you don't sing it. You say, Something yes, dot TV, I think, okay. right? Say, say, um, now it's time to make a run down stick. Do it. Do, do it. I want to hear it. Come on, Daddy. We're all you're, done with our questions. crazy cat person that nobody wants to hear about. <laughs> do it. That's driving away most of whatever audience I may once have had. Is that right? That happened long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear Dunning do the intro. I don't know. Do you think I listened to that? Yeah. <laughs> I, think I have nothing better to do, really. Yeah. Adrian knows the intro. I'm probably not. What? I don't even You're know. You're on the, the show. The you podcast. don't know the intro. Oh my god. She has to do that part. <laughs> well, no, I just say it every two You're weeks. But I still we, don't know we all it. I thought you retired long ago. This is Richard Saunders on the and today's. <laughs> How does he do? I, I'm trying to think how it starts. So Brian is yes, up along the bull and you, you didn't get at the airport? XXX for the XXX of XXX. Everyone's talking at the same time. This okay. is Richard Saunders coming to you from Bend, Oregon this week. And I'm with Brian Dunning. There you go. The this show. is Richard Saunders right. coming to you today from Zoom. Can I trivia. point out we're actually trying to play a trivia game here. Do we no. have any questions that don't have answers that we need guesses for? No. No. We're all set. We're, we're yeah, we're all set. We're that's, why we're, that's why we're messing around. Yes. Okay. We got them all. <laughs> I just don't know if Douglas has so, two S's so in Adrian, life. Adrian, tell us about your interview with Abhijit. I'll tell you about Abhijit. it? Abhijit. Yeah. Abhijit? What can, we, what, what can we expect to hear? Some fun stuff. <laughs> How's that for enlightening? <laughs> Uh, I can't even remember. We talked about a lot of things that I cut out more than half of it. So I can't remember. Yeah, yeah I know. You do, you do go one a bit. So. <laughs> yeah, just just because he's Indian? What's that? Oh my God. Uh, Did he mention he's in India? Did he mention he's oh, in no, India? <laughs> New Delhi. Yeah, we yeah. talked about, uh, I think we talked hey, about... Uh, yeah, I are Vedic, but particularly, what was that stuff called? Shilajit. Yeah, I know your interview better than you know your interview. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of forget about it as soon as I've done it, right? It's like... When are you going up to uh, <laughs> Calgary, Richard? That's, that's like him. He forgets his show as soon as he records it. <laughs> I'm going up. I'll be in Calgary on Wednesday, I think. Is that right, Adrian? Yes. Midnight. So may, it might be Thursday. Yeah, again, so about I, a week, I have yeah. to fly from here in Oregon. I fly to San Francisco, yeah. and I fly from San Francisco to Los Angeles, oh, and I fly from Los Angeles to Calgary. What? So you gotta go south, 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 so you can go north. Alberta is 
somewhere up. Like how many states over it? You could almost walk there faster. We're just right to be there. What, what, what state is Alberta in? Now, Alberta state? is a state. It's a <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm go We're directly north of Montana. Like, like, Montana, like, straight up. There's Montana. BC, and then there's, there's three Alberta. or four others. There's Alberta than the Saskatchewan. Yeah. Some of the most beautiful in the United States. Ooh. Are you guys what? playing nine ball or are you playing eight ball? Or were you no, not we're playing, playing have, we're playing whiskey. R they Richard were playing needed, nine ball. Needed, needed the break, so we're playing nine ball. <laughs> I I I played nine ball with Dunning when we were in Vegas, and he beat me every time. I don't think I won a single game, but I, I ran all the games, and then on the last one, last hit, they they got the nine. Look at that. He's He's had this rare stroke of luck, which is, I'm sure, because he's had a lot to drink. He's very <laughs> loose, and, and I haven't he's played in April. Whenever he's been here before, I've kicked his ass. This is true. Soundly, every yeah. time. He's yeah. been playing at home. By like, you know, four to five. That's right. I got to get my table back and play so I can come up and. Yeah, it's all covered up with stuff, huh? Well, it's actually almost nothing's on it now. I've, it's all oh, the good. Up, but it's been so cold in the back. It just is cold. Oh, it's there. not cold. You don't know what cold is. In that room, <laughs> it's cold. It gets really cold. You don't know what cold is. No, I don't. That's true. <laughs> but in, indoors, you guys are never cold, are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, we turn the heat down at night, usually. And it gets very cold in the house. The yeah. Is Celestia coming yeah, up? Basement's cold. Is it going to come yeah. stay with you, Adrian? Celestia too. Celestia is staying with us, and she has told Richard that no pillow fights past midnight. So, I have to clarify number two. Oh, number two is just right. books that he wrote. Oh, no. it's the trilogy. Yeah, okay. we're okay. That's how we answered it. Okay. Yeah. So we're good. Somebody. Thanks, Somebody had to say, oh, you have to clarify that. And no, that's fair. Okay. Rob Palmer probably said that. <laughs> no, it was somebody else. Like, it was actually somebody else. It wasn't Rob. <laughs> yeah. They that's actually got the answer right. Are you going to pull back the rooms, Vincent? Because we've been done for five minutes. Uh, Just a sec. Let me go to room four, and then I will close all the rooms. Sounds good, Vincent. Yeah. Not everyone is as well versed at the Hitchhiker's Guide as we are. We were all in the room together. Sterling has a tattoo. Sterling only has one tattoo and it's it's right here. Um, no. Don't panic. Testing. Can you hear me? No. Do you people appreciate the funny way Brian Dunning ends his podcast? How does Brian Dunning end his podcast? It's funny. It's not funny. He says something like if, if, if for example, if it's about a, a fruitless gold search but the people who do have a fruitful gold search are these people can you rattle off the name of the <laughs> folksy that's not folksy folksy yeah there you go being respectful to the people who support our work he's trying to be funny i don't I, notice anything that's odd about the ending you mean it, it always I, I, I think we i think we should all agree that he should be censured for this offensive comment uh -huh. about Skeptoid. I should be canceled. <laughs> he should, he should be canceled. <clears throat> no diet root beer for you. Oh, no. Yeah, I've got Susan, like four Susan. boxes here at home waiting for you. I might have to lose them. I'm going to be in, you know, I'm going to visit you in the next couple of weeks. I think, too. Are you talking to me or Adrian? You. Your name's Susan. I'm going to. I'm visiting Susan, uh, Adrian next week, but in the next month I'll probably visit. Susan. Probably. I'm going to be. I'm going to be in, or I will see you because I'm going to be up in the Bay Area. All right, we'll see each other. And I'm going to Lodi. I'm going to Sacramento, and I'm going to the Bay Area. I've got three different, three different places. I'm when going. Are you to. In when are you in Sacramento? Make me look at my calendar. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of visiting Mick West. Oh, that would be interesting. Um, I've got this video of a UFO. It's real. I'm going to be in the Bay Area on the twentieth. 
And then on Lodi on the 21st. We'll see Sacramento is the third of June. Yeah, I'll be there. In June. In June. Yeah, yeah. You you leave on the fifth or something, right? Uh, yeah. So on the third of June, I'll still be in the United States. So maybe we can wait. I'll I'll run into you somewhere. I don't yeah, actually know what I am got planned. Yeah, well. Okay. We'll see. Nothing's nothing has to be. It's not like you're booking flights. Well, good job, team. We'll sort it out. That wasn't, and we, we had too many people on the team that knew all the answers. I'm, uh, in Calgary, I'm going to be talking about ghosts. A little while. <laughs> I think everybody on my team knew all the answers. Wow. That wasn't fun because I wanted to actually be able to contribute what for once. Oh. Yeah. Well, but you sh you should have muted all the other members of your team, Susan. No, I don't want that. And the tenth, <laughs> we did, I didn't know the tenth one. Richard Richard knew it. I didn't what? Know. I don't really not into actors and actresses and names and stuff like that. That doesn't. It's not yeah. part of my. Well, only only one of our, one of the greatest thing? actors. Well, Yippie Kaye. Well, we know who it is, Mr. We Falcon. Didn't, we didn't know who it was. I didn't know who it was. But good job, Vincent. Nice category. Go ahead. Let's do our answers. A lot of fun, yeah. All right. The I'm surprised answer. we've never done this before. Yep, this was fun. Oh, oh, great. I'm glad you guys liked it. Number one, who wrote The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? That would be Douglas Adams. Oh, shoot. That's the wrong I thing. said Scott Adams at first. I was so oh, excited. I would yeah. answer so quickly. Are you thinking like Dilbert or something there? Yeah, well, just know? the name came to mind. Adams, Dil yeah. And Paste and Douglas Adams. All right. Um, oh, where is it? Question number two. This one. How many books are in the Hitchhiker's Trilogy? Trilogy of five books. Oh, okay. we said four. I, I had so to clarify and say it was the books that Douglas Adams wrote himself. What's the fifth one? Yeah. What's uh, the fifth one? So, is it so long and thanks for all the fish? Mostly yeah, That's number four. That's four. Mostly harmless. And uh, oh, oh, mostly not, harmless. Not, not the restaurant at the end of the universe. That's yeah. number three. That was number. I thought that was number two. two. Oh, right. Yeah, it is two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I never thought of mostly harmless as really being part, but I guess three, I, did, I don't either. Yeah, I, I was. I don't. I think that's the one I never read. So how it starts is. And there might be variations of this, but it starts with Arthur lying down on the road to stop the bulldozers. From destroying his house. From destroying his house, yep. Yep. So clever. I, I swear, losing death with Adam, man, he could have been... <laughs> no, it's funny. I didn't think... I forgot that part of it. All I remembered was that the bulldozers were there. Well, he starts... Yeah, he starts. It starts with him waking up and, and looking out the to, kitchen window. Yeah. Looking out the window, seeing the house, he's got his house coat the on. The house is rattling and he hears loud noise. One could have said that's how it starts. So it's a vague question. Yeah, but we it all was, got the right it answer. It was a vague question, but that's the answer that Arthur, I got. Arthur Dent discovers that his house is going to be. Yeah. So yeah. the people who said the bulldozers, I would say they got it right. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any variation of that? Uh, number, what is that? Number four. How did Ford Prefect get his name? He thought it would be an inconspicuous name, which I thought was pretty funny. Well, so we had a different answer. Any variation of that? Well, well he picked it because he it was the most common name on the planet. And that uh, the algorithm well, that he came up with said Ford prefix, so we thought he would just blend in. No, ben, except ben. It, 
Except that Douglas Adams owned a Ford Prefect. Yeah, yeah it was the car. It was a car. It was model. a car. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, I know. That's why, because it no. was the most common car. And so it was the one being used. The name. So I, I did remember the name. This, but Ben said he was looking for a name. And instead of a human name, he looked at a car name. Right. That's what yeah. happened. But that's not an inconspicuous name. That's a different. Yeah, Bob well, that. he looked for it because it was common. Everybody had a Ford no. Prefect. In the so I don't think we have the right answer, Susan. It's again, I think I'm he, he was looking for a name, South Ford Prefect. He thought that would work, so he did a he didn't do thorough research. Is the, is yeah, the well, he was looking for a common some name that was common so he could blend in and well, he, he, looked thought, out the, he looked out his window and saw his ford prefect no because that's a different person he didn't understand uh it was a process he, of elimination he looked for a common name he was looking for a common name and ford prefect was a car and he thought that was a human's name i'll get the name it was book. very common yeah so he was trying to blend in Yep, and but that's why he named that after the car. Right. Yep. So, so the question is, if we say he named himself after a car or some version of that, is that going to satisfy the answer? So, so Wikipedia says that he had mistaken the dominant form of life of ours as cars, and therefore that's why he came up with it. Yeah, that works. We'll go so, with that. So, so we're oh, we're good then, no Peggy. Yeah. yeah. So that there's no fighting, so that we can move on. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, no more Archie Bargy. Yes. I'll take you all. Archie Bargy for yeah. sure. Uh, why should you always know where your towel is? This one is uh, an argument uh, <laughs> question as well, too. But oh well. It's the most massively useful thing a hitchhiker can have, according yep. to the book. Yeah, right. yeah, yep, we're good. This school is good. Oh, we're all good on that. Oh my yeah. god, you actually have consensus on a question well, that. Oh, I, I wrote. Have... I wrote because it's so useful. But we yeah. also in our in our chat, which is recorded, <laughs> we listed a whole bunch of reasons why it's useful. We put yep, if you have, a, too. have your towel, you're ready for anything. Yeah. 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 yeah, we put our uh, towel as the most important yeah. thing for a hitchhiker to have. So it's all, you know, yeah. similar explanation. Variations on the goods. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's the ultimate question to life, universe, and everything? Wait, 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 wait. What? What? 42. Yeah. Well, the answer. The answer. Got you, guy. Yeah, the answer is 42. Got you you die early. Early. What's the plus or minus? <laughs> no one zero. Yeah, that's a good one zero zero yeah and everyone i think got this one uh what were the dolphins saying yeah well that's what they were saying but so long and thanks for all the fish. Da, da, and, and when I got fired from my company six years ago, that's what I put at the top of the email <laughs> I sent to everybody that uh, nice. I left. Oh, that's great. Like that. You didn't go that's with the wonderful. Johnny Paycheck joke song, take yeah, this yeah. job and shove it? That's what I did. No, no they hired me back, so I couldn't do that. So number eight. Here comes another what one. It, according to the according to the book, what is Earth? Which one? Mark one or Mark two? Mm. Ah, well. They're both the, computers. Uh, first one, a computer. Just a computer. It was designed Some to answer the so What's the purpose of the computer? To oh, answer the question. No, no, no to just to come up with the answer. To come up with the answer to the, uh, the question just, for the ultimate answer, yeah. That's right. And come up with the question, come up the 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 question to the answer. Right. Yeah. But you just had to be vague. It was it was a computer. You had Earth to be vague. If you were specific, computer. you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Uh, uh, we're, we're vague in this we're group. We're going to be vague here because that's how I roll. Uh, and the most intelligent species on Earth? Mice. White mice. 
Are you sure it's mice? Yeah. Pan, no. pan dimensional. Yes. Wasn't it dolphin? Ice. No, no, it was, it was mice. 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 Oh, mice. you have the wrong answer. Oh, Vincent? you guys got it. It's mice. Yes. Yeah. Pan dimensional. Trying to mess with us. <laughs> You know, I just thought I'd try to be funny there. Didn't yeah. quite work. The dolphins so. are smarter than humans, but that's not difficult. That's well, yes, that is true. Hey, you too. And they, and okay. they also have this unexplained capability to fly off into space somehow. Yeah. In the, in the in the critically acclaimed, which I like doing that because it wasn't movie, which actor voiced Marvin the Paranoid Andrew? It was Alan Rickman. Yes. Hey, good. All right, good Richard. Thing. Drink more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He got it. And that's good it. job. Questions. Very good. I am really surprised oh. that we've not Good had night, it. Guys. Night, Good night, Carolyn. Night, Carolyn. Night, Carolyn. Night, Night, Carolyn. Night, Carolyn. Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So I, I have a question for everybody before we get to the scores. Has anybody not read the books? I have. I, I haven't read Hi, all. Hi, Lynn. I've, I've, sort of I've not read, read at least the last one. one. Jane, I, Jamie, have you? No, I have. I've read. Karen, them Karen has not. Wow. wow. But I knew some of the answers just from the culture. Uh -huh. I only knew forty-two. Yeah, just from the refer cultural references. That's even, interesting. Even yeah. Siri knows 42. When I first oh, got wait. my iPhone, I asked her that question. And they uh, there's my shirt, 42. I can't see you, Vincent. Can't can't see you, Vincent. Really, really close. <laughs> All I see is oh, shoot, it's not three. working. Here. Oh. There it goes. No, I'll take the uh, background off. So please excuse my mess. Uh, Okay, scores. This is going to show us the shirt. Scores. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's great. <laughs> What's the bottom say? Oh, everything. everything. That's, everything. That's yep. a good shirt. Venn diagram and all. Yep. Yep. Oh. Okay, screen share. Here we go. I think everybody did well, I hope. Um, let's go with the team that was Vincent's and I was on drinking and playing pool. I got nine if no one else scored. I think so. Yes. yes. That's right. We finally got something better than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Better than one. <laughs> Fox News is oh, plum tuckered God. out. We're doing awful. We got nine. Nine. Two bobs and a bin. Ten. Ooh, wow. They're coming back. What do Don and Tucker have in common? Really? Seven, I think. And Springer has sprung. Nine. Wow. So you got an 8.8 .8 on that. That's that was I'm curious to know what, what question you got wrong. Well, we thought the trilogy was four. Yeah. yeah, we thought it was we don't more. consider okay. that last book yeah. to be part of the trilogy. Yeah, that's how that's the one we got lost to. Not, I mean, Mars, I still Mars, thought, Mars Mars was, was the fifth book in the increasingly inappropriately titled Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy <laughs> trilogy. Yeah, it's just, everybody <laughs> yeah. forgot about that one, I guess. All right, very well, good job, Vincent. I think okay. it's part of it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, nice. so. Question. We are that was, going that was to go to promoted tagline. It was the fifth book in the increasingly inappropriately titled Hitchhiker's <laughs> Guide to the Galaxy trilogy. Yes. Yes. I'm going to leave your, your uh, co-host permissions on there, Vincent, because I'm not sure you're actually in the right room, but we'll see. Okay. Right, Peggy. Peggy. Hello. <laughs> yeah, right just in time. Does she say that too, Adrian? Um, George is barking oh. because the, you know, it's the garbage. Dog. Bigfoot. Garbage. Bigfoot's in the ad. So I'm going to try to see if he could stop. So our our subject tonight is fungus among us. It's all about fungus. Oh, is it Tucker Carlson again? 
Um, <laughs> he's, not, he's not one of the answers. Oh, oh. darn it. Sorry. You just, re yeah, I got it. All right. Well, that's a different category. <laughs> it's all about Trump. Can I, okay, any questions before I go three, two, one, mute? Are there any answers? Nope. <laughs> 42. <laughs> all right. Hmm. I'm going to mute you. She said that like it's a threat. And Thanks I for the warning. Get, I didn't get muted. No, you don't get muted because you muted him. Okay. Because you got the power, girl. That's good pregnant. news. All right. Um, I still haven't worked out the uh, the mouse situation, so it's still going to take me too long, and I apologize for that. But the you mouse know. the mouse was worse than. The built-in one. Okay, number one. Where are you, chat? Chat? Chat's not coming up. Why aren't you coming up? There you are. Paste. Number one is experts estimate that what percentage of existing fungi on the earth remain unidentified to date? This is according to the BBC News. And you have a choice of A, 15%, B, 45%, C, 70%, or D, 90%. Copy number two is number two. What is the name of the infecting fungus in the video game and television show, The Last of Us? Is it George? No, it's, I did that category. Oh, well, I thought maybe you're kind of having a redux. Yeah, no, it's not George. Um, Fun fact, The Last of Us was filmed in Calgary. It was. Hmm. So if anybody wants to see it just for that, what fungus causes the most poisoning deaths in humans? And there is a list, Amanita phylloides, Gyrometra esculenta, Inobibi gyrophila, Conocybe phylaris. I have no idea if those were pronounced even remotely correctly. But probably not many people can tell me they were wrong. We could tell you. I want Adrian to try to read them on the skeptic zone. I want Susan to read them as team names. <laughs> That's a good idea. Where are we? We are on number four. Approximately when did the first known intentional use of yeast to make bread occur? Three choices, 550 BC by the Persians, 750 BC by the Romans, 1350 BC by the Egyptians. Here we are, number five. In what year did Alexander Fleming first discover penicillin? Plus or minus two years range. Ooh. Paste. Um, I can't even read it. My, uh, nope, we went back too far. The name St. Anthony's fire was given to an illness in the Middle Ages that is generally thought to have been caused by what fungal infection in rye? Aspergillus, candida, yeast, or ergot? No, George, don't bark. Don't get to bark tonight. What US state produces the most mushrooms annually as a crop? 
Is it Oregon, New York, Pennsylvania, or California? Hmm. The largest living organism known on the planet is a single honey mushroom, also known as Armillaria ostoii, in which U.S. state? Where is that big sucker? Number nine, number nine, number nine. Nobody does that but me. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Peggy. I don't oh, it's so my pleasure. Did I get, I didn't get the whole thing, so hang on. Oh, it did. Oh, nope, shit. I don't see it. Well, I haven't posted it yet because I didn't think I had it, but then it was there, but now I took most of it out and <laughs> hang on. Look at the other ones. You can answer the rest while we're doing this. Oh, I have to get rid of that. Oh, here we are. Number nine. I just wanted to say number nine again for Susan. Thank you. I appreciate it. Number nine. Number nine. These kids, they don't even know what it's referencing to. That's so sad. Okay. To go back to this. So this is. Oh, it didn't put it in yet, did I? Okay. Here. No. no. Enter. No. What are you? Why are you not entering? Mamma mia. You're on such a roll. I know. What a roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have it. One is something about the Yartsa gunbu mushroom, which has the distinction of being the most expensive mushroom in the world to purchase. How much is it? And these are big ranges because, of course, it depends on the economy and how rare they are at the time. But um, in general, it's going to be one of those 1,000 to 1,500 per pound. I think we're talking dollars, 3,600 3, or 4,000 per pound, 10,000 to 15,000 per pound, and there's a typo there, 50 to 63,000 per pound, the Yartsa Gumbu. God, it must be good. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had one, needless to point out. Uh, it'd be wasted on me. Somebody'd say, hey, I've got this for you, special treat. I'd be like, I don't know, I don't think so. Okay, number 10 doesn't sound nearly as good as number nine. I don't see the misspelling. A lichen is a composite organism of fungus and what other organism? Yeah. Fungus and what? Fungus, amongus, and what is? Fungus, amongus. All right, so um, any questions before you all get sent away? Do I have powers to do that? Because I'm not seeing it down. Of course. Here. Yeah, I did. I'm something. in charge here. Susan, <laughs> Susan asked something about a typo. I didn't hear you answer. I that. didn't see a typo. Oh, there was a. a, a uh, never mind. If you didn't see it, that's great. You, you'll yeah, probably. There's a, there was a D on the end of two it Ds. Is, is it it I see there's a period place. instead yeah. of a comma. A Thank you, Robin. Wait, isn't there a problem with D? Uh, what 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 number? Are you okay, there's about? there's a lack of of zeros. Yeah, that's more than a typo. So nine D is fifty thousand to sixty three thousand. Yeah. As yeah. written, there's, D okay, there's two typos. A Z and C. Therefore, D is the answer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Put uh, fifty thousand on that one. I am not seeing my uh, breakout room thing at the bottom. It should be there. I know it should be there, and I don't see it. Um, do, 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 do. You did it. Thank you. Sorry. No, I didn't do it. Rob did it. Oh, uh, okay. All right. But but that means I can't bounce around. You have permissions. You have all okay. your powers. I, I just don't. Oh, here they are. They're, they're there. Yeah, I don't have it. I, I'm sorry. You have it, right? Go to your room. Uh, I I now have it on the screen, but it, it didn't let me. Who's the fungus person here? We have a name. Oh, thank God. 
I will sit here and pick my nose while Janine answers these. Yay, Janine. I, I was just saying I know some of these too, Janine. Well, you're on mute, Janine. <laughs> I didn't we, notice that. We, we need so. your pearls of wisdom. We have to hear them. Okay. There are a few I know and some we could talk about. Um, let's see. What was the more recent? Oh, okay. tan. It's uh, fungus and algae. Oh, okay. Okay. Isn't that a movie? What's it all about algae? <laughs> like that. Or song. Okay. And I would say for number one, it's really high, but I don't know if it's 70 or 90. What do you think, Jane? I think it's 90. That's what I put down as 90. Mm -hmm. And six, I'm drawing on my microbiology class that I had just in the last 10 years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> last 10 years yeah I took a microbiology I took a couple of microbiology classes at the university level about 10 years ago oh cool, cool. Yeah. that's cool so six is ergot in yeah. rye that's what, that's what I, what I figured to. yeah yeah okay. that was the only one I thought I had so those are those kind of um hmm what's the name of the infecting fungus in the video game Oh, I know that one. What is that? Cordyceps. Thank you. Oh, it's driving me That's nuts. That's a number two. Not remember it. Yep. How do you Answer. spell it? C O R D. I wrote C O R. I don't know if this is right. I wrote C O R D Y C E P S. C O R D Y C E P S. That sounds right. I've never seen the show. Oh, we never, we oh. don't oh, get. Good show. Good show. Yeah, don't, I, right? What? Right. We don't yeah. get taken down for spelling, so we're. And I thought, okay. I yeah. thought, I thought it had a very sad ending. That's all I saw. Well, it's yeah, not over every, yet. Every show oh. is every show is pretty dramatic. Oh, I yeah. thought it was over. Nope. Well, no, it's it's the season series. one. The season is over. Oh. So three. What do you think? I put a. I was thinking Philoides as opposed to Philarius, the other two I've never heard of. I go question three. A. Are you on three? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think it is? Philoides. A. A. It's the Canadian answer. A. <laughs> a. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> When did they first make raised bread? Long time ago, right? Yeah, I would. I did I, not know the answer to this, but I don't either. I would almost think the Egyptians. I, yeah, I was going to say that, but then I thought, well, they could have had flatbread. I. Well, the only reason I'm thinking of the Egyptians is because the story of Passover is from around that era when they escaped from Egypt they can't make their bread yeah, so it's unleavened they, bread right they keep it flat right yeah when at that point they were already using yeast to make the bread yeah. so that's one thinking it's c i well they I had it I by the egyptians but it doesn't mean they were the earliest i would think that it's it's probably been around for as long as time yeah so you think the persians well the oldest one is the egyptians and the three. Oh, yeah i guess you're right because we're in bc yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah, then, yeah which is why back. i'm picking that one is because it's the oldest of the three i, and I know I that they had it that. i agree okay I did the, I did so the when did that. alexander fleming what 1928 1928. Oh, I was going to guess 1930. So that sounds good. Really? I would have thought it was sooner because I thought they had it for World War One. No, I don't think so. Well, obviously not if that's the right date. I thought they had it for two, but not one. Yeah. Well, yeah, they had it for two, but I thought I, I, hey, yeah, 28. She's I hope I'm right. This is an old brain, but I hope I'm right. It's okay, Jane. <laughs> we won't hold it against you. None yeah. of us came up with the right answer, right? And we have and we have older brains over here, so 
And yeah. I think I think I know number seven. Uh, is that that's the one that we need next? Right? I think it's California. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's New York. That's for sure. You don't? Okay. What is then it? It's Oregon. You think Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Okay. I think that. I think what? That's, that's what I think. Pennsylvania. Hmm. I think I, it's any place moist. I don't recall Oregon being noted for their mushrooms. No, we like to we like to use them, but we don't. <laughs> I mean, I knew I knew one country one I knew one company in Corvallis that was doing it, but I mean, yeah, I don't hear anything about them either. Mm -hmm. I, I just I would it, assumed it was California I, just because how big California is. But you know, I mean, yeah, I live in I live between right New, climate. I live between New York and Pennsylvania, and I don't remember ever seeing any ads for mushroom products. But I that doesn't necessarily mean anything because it could be uh, Western Pennsylvania, which I don't get a whole lot of stuff from. Why? Why do you think Pennsylvania? I just think that's mushroom territory. I think that. That's where there's a lot of Amish country out there. True. I I, I just I don't Is know. Is there enough rain? I would think so. Okay. Yeah, there's and the water rain, rain comes there. at the right time of the year. That it would make some sense. It's very woodsy. I just think of a, I just think of it as a very um a very New Englandy, very I don't know. It's, well you're not gonna get an argument from me. No. I just thought California only because it just California would decide. be the last on my list. Well, we got an awful big northern air, California area that has lots of moisture. Yeah, that's that's very true. Same of same that's with almost a, you know, it's a huge part of this. It's and huge. Oregon, yeah. Oregon does psychedelic mushrooms, and that's not a commercial crop, so that's a problem. Okay, so Oregon. we'll move on. We'll just see. Pick yeah. okay, so, we're, but we're I'm living Oregon. I'm going to say the opposite on this honey mushroom. I think that that is going to for. I'm thinking like of the Ozarks. Um, I'm sure. I'm sorry, what? You're saying like Missouri or? Arkansas. Or Arkansas. Yeah, something like that. I was thinking Missouri, but Arkansas is a possibility. I'm I'm thinking something like in the Ozark region. I've read, I read about it recently, but, oh, God. You know, it, it it's competing with that tree population that's in Colorado or someplace, you know? Oh. So that because that also claims to be largest living or oh, and it doing on how you measure largest and all kinds of things. And it's just a funny claim. So Peggy, how's everybody doing? Uh, it's been hard to tell. I'm going to go to some of the rooms that have the, you know, that put up the, the answer sheet so I can tell where we are. And I haven't wanted to interrupt the. We have, we have two more to go. We have. Okay, that's couple. good to know. Thanks. Yeah, we have a couple. So do you guys think Missouri or do you think Arkansas? Uh, another thing about the, the mushrooms in Pennsylvania is that I buy the canned mushrooms, the Pennsylvania Dutch. Well, that's yeah. right. Yeah, right. We buy those yeah. too. Yeah. I've never seen okay. an Oregon Oregon one. So yeah, our psychedelic mushrooms are not commercial. So. She's she, she spent an awful lot of time talking about these psychedelic mushrooms there. Have you noticed that? Yeah, they're because they're all over the farm. Well, they're everywhere. I mean, really? they're everywhere. They're treating, they, they treat like therapy patients with it now and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And we could just go out in the field and pick them if we wanted. Um, okay, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. on that I'm, number nine, that's that's a wild guess for me. How I, good could a mushroom be? 
that it would need to be at that price. I mean, just think about how. How could I can't imagine how anything could be better than chandelles? Chanterelles. 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 I don't even know what that is. I just can't even imagine. Mushrooms are good, but yes. I've never. I can't mushroom. imagine no, this really. being that good. I, I'd be afraid are, are they to tasty? eat it. What do they taste like? I always thought they tasted like dirt. Mushrooms. Mm. Mushrooms? Oh, no. General, you don't eat mushrooms? Meat. They taste oh, like meat. I, yeah, they've got the texture, the, the chewy texture of yeah. meat. So they're make, really good for, you know, for a vegetarian to eat because they're, they've got that nice texture. Yeah, Portobello, um, Portobello, Portobello, uh, Portobello burgers. We do Portobello burgers occasionally. Oh. Mm -hmm. Instead of using meat, you just stick, stick a big porter uh, portobello in the middle there and it's great I do that a lot. they're so good truffles truffles I like i like to put them on meat like on steak or yes know. that's true too yeah i mean even just the you guys are brave eaters. eaters i wouldn't i wouldn't get. even eat them not on pizza or anything oh, oh my god I like so my pizza, pizza covered, covered in, in them yeah wow. garbage pizzas with lots and lots of mushrooms i guess yeah. i'm not i'm not somebody you can cook for sorry i will we'll have to go out to okay so we need to choose something for eight and something for nine so we decide on missouri or arkansas those are the two we were flipping between missouri you think right. it's bad enough i've never been there so i have no idea what it's very weather. humid yeah. Is it? Oh, the Missouri's good. It's hot, it's hot, and humid. hot and humid. That would make that would make. I've been there a few times. Carl lives there. It's got like tons of lakes and also yeah, like big lake. I can't. I don't think of it as an Ozark place though, but I guess it is. Oh, okay, well, depends on the side Missouri, of the Missouri, and let's go on to nine. No, I thought, I've ones. never heard of this. Neither I. I. B. Yeah, that one seemed a little nuts, but people are weird when it comes to some of these fancy. G, G seems crazy. A's probably not. Maybe, I, maybe C. Like um, it's B there's a C. big difference between B and C. There sure is. Have you heard of this, Janine? Mm -mm. I mean, what would it possibly taste like? I mean, there there's some amazing foods out there. How could this taste better than those foods? Well, it's also because it's a rarity, probably more yeah, than anything rare. else. So rare you're eating it because it. it's rare. So are baby what? seals. I'm not going to eat one of them. Oh, oh they're, oh, they're good. They're really good. <laughs> Put a little portobello mushroom puppy. on the baby seal. Have you ever had a puppy? I've never had human meat either, and I'm sure that that. I mean, okay, we need to pick B or C. Yes, I'm sure human human is seconds. probably very <laughs> very expensive. I I I don't know why I'm thinking C. Okay, C it is. Wild guess. I'm not wild even guess. write it down in our answer. Wild sheet guess for a like, wild mushroom. Well, I'm glad I was on your team because you guys <laughs> stuff. Well, we pulled them out of our butts. So. I, I, yeah. I would, be, I would be closing my eyes and picking something on these. I Some things we knew, but. How'd you do in the hitchhiker? Oh, it's good job, team. Don't, don't look up the rare one either. Okay. Which one? <laughs> the one that cost a lot of money. Oh. <laughs> I, I was on a very good team, Peggy. Good. Janine and Jane went back and forth. I figured it was a good Janine category. Yeah, Jane knew a lot too. I, apart from the TV reference, yeah, <laughs> Jane knew that one. She was on it. Oh my gosh! And I had to look it up, Richard. But now that I see it, yes. And, and three guesses why it's so expensive. Three you guesses. You claim you're Canadian? My Is it made of babies? 1954. Oh, we'll find out. Does it get you high? We'll find out what people think. Oh, uh, it's like fungal Viagra, probably. 
Oh, that would be yeah. so predictable. <laughs> it, it's, a class, it's a classic Chinese thing where everything makes uh, your boner bigger. <laughs> um, my boner is just fine, thank you. Yeah. Well, you I don't need to get mine any bigger. Yet. We need to right size these things. You haven't had the mushroom yet. Yes. Okay, is everybody ready for answers? Yes, Go. ma'am. Do it. Number one. Um, okay, again, this was an estimate. I know it's kind of a silly question, but I found uh. it very interesting that the experts, the you know, these mushroom people, they think that at least 90% of the existing mushrooms are unidentified. Wow. Yeah, so mushroom Darn people. it. I knew we should have went with 90. <laughs> the that looks like a mushroom person right there. That's, well, that's one of the mushroom people from the show. It's uh. called Cordycepsis the Mushroom. Uh. I loved this show. Yeah, it's a good show. Yep. Yeah. You just have was, to be, you know. It was too depressing. I my son was watching it. I was kind of happy. You have to have a strong it's stomach. It's, yeah. it's not it's not depressing. Just, that's for sure. You know, I'm not watching it. Thank this you for telling me not to watch it. Enough. Try not to ever get attached to anyone but the main two characters. This <gasps> is the you talk too much. Boys. Until season two. Well, I would okay. also take for number three. I'll also take a death cap, but. You know, the death answer cap the for enemy. cutie, death cap. So, wait, which oh. that's let's say a, a, a. oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the letter for is Amanita. helpful. A for Amanita, number four, Thank you. 1350. I think that was the last one. Yep. Number five is 1928. Okay, all right, somebody on wait, wait what was wow, what was Jane got it, it exactly. What was wow. the good it job, is. Jane. Out of the out, what was he 30, 50. Okay, good. Uh, oh, don't put that in memory. That was excellent. Okay, and thank was you. Five is so 19. Was, I'm sorry. Uh, what was the what was the range on plus or minus there? two? We got it. We got we it. We got it. Yeah. Bob. Okay, I was too close. Okay, good 1928. Job, Bob. No, Peggy, that guy does not look very excited about that. Does he not realize <laughs> what it, what I, that's what I thought. Face. I thought this picture, this guy is really a creepy science this guy. This is his happy face. He looks like he might be stoned on some other mushroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is his this is <laughs> happy look. He's a guy that plays with fungus. What do you expect? Uh, yeah, for real. Do you know. think he has any personality? No. Yay. Number six. Oh, was yeah. That. I just one, love Bob. this painting, whatever he's got. And it came up when I did a search for images of this disease. Oh, oh. Isn't that image one I've seen on your on your living room wall? <laughs> Isn't that what you get when you? I'm going to get one. I thought you get that when you win all all the awards in Hollywood. That's, that's, a, a, that's, that's a detail a from uh, Garden of Hieronymus uh, Bosch. Like an egot, not an ergot. Wow! Uh, look at uh, look at this Jane man. She kicked oh, it. Jane. She kicked wow. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. A number of you, the teams knew Pennsylvania. I'm impressed because I did not I know did. that until Go I read Bob. That. She reasoned it, it out. She reasoned it, it out. You know, it's probably all those old barns they Arthur. have there. Coal mines. No, the is it the coal mines? mines? And no, oh, coal mines. Oh, coal mines. That, that's what's Bob's guess because yeah, of all the coal mines that they converted them. They're mushrooms. Uh, that, they here, are so. mushroom farms. They start from scratch. They keep the mushrooms in the dark and shovel shit on them. <laughs> yes. Number eight right. is the biggest living thing. Is it the Malheur? Uh, uh, wow. And that was for the Oregonians in the group. Yay. Uh, we missed spelled it. Oregon, Missouri. Oh, you missed it? They you missed it. it. <laughs> we said Missouri. Yeah. Sorry. It's I don't know. I've read that in a few places. I think it's out there, but it is a weird thing that it's just a giant thing. Number nine is this the uh, no. mushroom. Uh, it is it should not be that bread. expensive. That's dumb. Okay, what is this um, thing now? It's the the mushroom oh, Viagra. Boner fungus. Viagra. Boner ten, fungus. Ten times more potent than rhinoceros horn. We're still lying. Oh, like it doesn't work at all then. Lies, lies. Right, exactly. So this is like the like the cordyceps because it it takes over the body of something else and then turns into whatever it's going to be. So it starts in the in the takes over the larvae of moss like a caterpillar and then it turns into that. What would yeah. lichen is fungus? What sort algae? of composed, composited with algae, algae, and um, weird stuff. 
Janine knew that one right I off got the bat. very confused reading about uh about lichen because I can't keep all those contradictory things in my head <laughs> well the whole thing is that Freddie fungus build builds nice houses any algae makes good food and Freddie fungus and al any algae took a lichen to each other <laughs> oh, <cool>. <laughs> <laughs> there is a he, Vincent, you better watch out. Bill's gonna. Oh, I know. That's right. They're gonna over that. That's okay. He's I don't gonna have to your own man. Gonna have your job pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, you better watch out. That yeah yeah yeah. That's okay. <laughs> yeah yeah. My yeah. God. Well, I yeah. okay. Here we go. Let me look and see how we did with our scores. Everybody, added totaling them up now. We're getting down to the wire. Let's see where we are whoo look at that score range okay yeah the drinking and playing pool how do you do with your sh shrooms five we didn't do as well as we wow. hope we would. thought we could okay so two bobs in a bin six it depends on if we okay fox it. news is plum tuckered out eight. Ooh, wow Ooh, woo, woo, woo. Well Donnie, our team did real good this time. What did Don and Tucker have in common? So uh, I think we had nine. Well, let me ask in number two, Peggy, um, is mm -hmm. zombie ant okay? Since that's a name for cordipus? Um, a zombie ant? Zombie ant fungus is uh, zombie yeah. ant fun fungus. That's what that's, the cordyceps is. That, is. That's what a cordyceps. That is what cordyceps. It, 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 cordyceps is in. It, it's in ants, and it right. causes them to take on that behavior. Yeah. Um. If it's so, if it's known it, by that, which the I the name of it, it the is. name of the fungus is cordyceps, but it it, well, uh, it is it yeah. is also known it is also known as the zombie mm -hmm. ant fungus. I, I would I would not I would point out that in the show, at least, and I have never played the game. They do not talk about the zombie ant fungus. They talk about cordyceps over and over and the over. The answer is no. So you're we're not taking. Okay, then we have eight. But does eight still really good? Has. Yeah. Okay, so Springer has sprung. They're not going to take that. Bye. No, because no. it's not the name, Paul. On the yeah, show, on the show. No, that I've never seen. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Wikipedia thinks that's the name. Okay, that's okay. We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Look at Troy. She's saying nine. I can't see Troy. I only see Maggie, Lynn, and Paul, Bill, and Karen, and in the grass. Oh, there's nine. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. Oh, see, I've got the share nine. screen on. I only see a little bit. Wow, 37. Well done, Troy. Good Lord. Jeez. I'm impressed. Okay, so Kevin doesn't normally do bonuses. It's been a while, so it's been a lot of name that cat and Kevin. stuff. So I don't know what he's <laughs> going to do this time. And you guys are going to hate me. It's You're not going to believe it. It's types of mushrooms. I <laughs> no, we name that lighthouse. I have been begging you. No, no, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get my text file so I can. Uh, yeah, but oh, no. do you want to give us reasons more? Reasons I hope, I hope you. it's really I mean, different. Reasons to hate you. <laughs> more as long as, as long as everything's numbered. If it's an image, I'll be happy. Okay, it's it's based on the Hollywood Walk of Fame again. Uh oh. Okay. Again. We did Again, it once before because I, I did it i did it with kevin's yep. uh -huh. and now i'm doing it with yeah, carl oh. with with a k or a k okay carl or carl on holly walk of fame there are 19 name 10 of them oh, Hit. Good. it can be a first name a last name or part of a name oh no okay and carl. like example would be carly simon technically she was listed to be on there but she never set the date so she's yet to claim her star so mm -hmm. that's not one of the 19 but it could be anybody with c-a-r-l or k-a-r-l that has a hollywood star so if you were to i'll, I'll have a, a page later where you could search for c-a-r-l and you'll find 16 
and K A R L, you'll find three. Okay. 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 So come up with 10. Go to your rooms. Hmm. And Carl's on my team, but trust me, I sent this to, to um, Kyle earlier. Susan, I think I'm going to need to be put back in my room. Um, I didn't take your powers away. I think I can put myself back in my room, huh? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Remind me oh, how to do We're that. learning how to do these things because you guys are going to be experts at Zoom. So you just go to um, go to breakout rooms and yeah. it'll say join on the right hand side. And I oh, and I just hit the join of my team. I did this last time when I thought I couldn't get back. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh, who we got? Hey, hi, team. Hey. I know okay. none. Uh, Carl Malden. How about Carl Marx? <laughs> On the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Carl, Carl Sagan. Um, Carl On, Sagan. On the Walk That's of Fame? Oh, I don't know. Well, I gotta come, we got to come up with 10. Well, Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner, for sure. Uh, George Carlin. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Carlin. Um, what was that? Oh, it's <laughs> one of my apps. Okay. Lines. It's called Line. It squeaks. Yes, yeah, squeaks. Um, so um, I'm guessing, let's see, Carl Reiner, George Carlin. Someone said Malden, right? From Malden. Um, uh, Kitty Sarah Carlisle. Carlson. Oh, Kitty Carlisle. I remember her. Um, Johnny oh, Carlson. Who? I was gonna say Johnny Carson, but no L. Oh. Is, there, is there a car Did you get put on the Walk of Fame for things other than movies? I think so. Yeah. Music and stuff, yeah. Carlos Santana, then. Ooh, Carlos. Ah, oh, brilliant. Carlos, other Carloses you guys can think of? Um, let's see. How about a Giancarlo Esposito? How do you know that? <laughs> he's in The Mandalorian, so he's they just wrapped their season up last week. Now you know these things. Um, um, let's see. Uh, oh, by the way, I think um, Carl Malden's a K. Boris Karloff. Oh, Boris oh, Karloff. Oh, that's good. Uh, good. Uh, that's all the Carl's with a K I can think of. Didn't he say there were three with the K? Yeah, he uh, did. He said three, but I. We've got one here, one there, uh, and one there. So, how many we got? We got eight up there. Uh huh. Uh, um, Yvonne De Carlo. Who? Oh, Yvonne De Carlo. You think so? Uh, Yvonne, 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 Yvonne De Carlo. Not Amanda. Uh, how do you spell? Yeah. Yeah. De Carlo. Oh, De Carlo. Like that? Sort of. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Ah, Very good. The Carl in it. Oh, that's interesting. What? 
gives you some other suggestions. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Carla. Only, <laughs> only if it's uh, underlined. Carla. George Carlin's with a C. Oh. Ah. So we have another K at least then. And I think it's C-A-R-L-I-N. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. Oh, it went away. Carol. How about Carol Burnett? There's mm -hmm. a, the oh, there's an O in there. Yeah, yeah Carol. Yeah. Any Carlottas? <laughs> I, think it was a, I think she was a Carlotta Adams. But that was a murder victim on a uh, Perot. Oh. Carlotta? Car Car uh, Carly Simon? Well, that was our yeah. example. I don't think that yeah, came oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I can't think of any of the Carloses. I'm pretty sure Carlton. Linnaeus doesn't have a star on the Walk of Fame. No. Carlton Heston. <laughs> Close. Carlton Heston. Um, I think Reiner is R E I N E R without the H. R E I N E R, I think. Not that the spelling matters that much. No Karl Marx, huh? I doubt it. <laughs> so, yeah, the little images the they have. Um, How about Carl with a K? Uh, definitely not on the. I, if, they didn't tell me about it if they did. They do have singers, filmmakers, as yeah. well as actors. Um, I mean, the vast majority of famous Carls, at least with a K, are Nazi war criminals. Yeah, the, yeah, I found that out when I was doing that category in Carls <laughs> with a K. God, that was a bit a long time ago. Yeah. You could you could write an entire Wikipedia page of here's just a list of all the Carls who were Nazi war criminals. Well, that's where I got a lot of the um, Carls with a K from his Wikipedia page for Carl with a K, and it was like one after another Carl <laughs> war criminals. It's like uh, I don't think anybody's gonna know these. The most famous of which is Carl Dönitz, the second leader of the German Third Reich. You shouldn't know that, Carl. I know my history. You shouldn't know that. Erase that out of your mind. But he's Carl with a K. <laughs> in, in, in his last will, uh, Hitler split the duties up between Goebbels and Carl Dönitz, but Goebbels killed himself, so Dönitz was left as the only one in charge. You shouldn't know that stuff. People are going to talk. There are 19 of them. We're missing 10 of them. Yeah. But it's it's not just a first or last name, though. You know. Yeah, like. Could somebody's last name be Carlos? Something Carlos? I think we'd have to have a first name, though. I don't think we could just throw a last name out. No, but I mean, there's something that... I can't think of anyone, but... Carlos is there. the Spanish version of Charles. Hmm. Carl, Charles, Charlemagne. They're all essentially the same thing. <laughs> Brain. 
Shake it out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Scarlet, go handsome. Uh, that's a good one. Scarlet Johansson. Oh, oh my God, that's good. That's brilliant, Troy. Very good. I was trying to Thank figure you. out what what letter could go in front of Carl, and right. I was just running through them all. Like, that was beautiful. Scarlet? Yeah. Wonder if she has a walk of a fame star. Probably. I don't know. I don't even know who she is. Never She's, even oh. before. <laughs> She's an actress, is all I know. Um, I thought she was in her 30s. Oh, by sure now? Not. No, no. I don't know. Um probably. I mean, she got started so young, so. Well, we've got 10. We'll look it up after we've decided we have our list. Mid 30s. <laughs> the only one I'm not super sure. Oh, how about how about Carol O'Connor? Oh, oh Carol. Oh, that's there's an O in there again. There's an O there. Oh, no. that did sound good, huh? Oh, darn. I think we get those, those ten look good. This is hard. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Well, we got our ten. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any actress, make Carla. Any Carla actresses? Famous, relatively famous. Yeah, uh, Carla. I can't think of any. Um, or, or a singer, I, musician. Singer. That's not the right one for that. Uh, I keep coming up with the same names that are already on the list because they've been mentioned and it just keeps floating in my head. Kitty Carlisle? Oh, we're see. 
Yeah, you start going in the loop. Yeah, yeah. and I think, oh. All right, come on, Kevin. Let's start the two minute warning. Oh. Yeah. Anyone with that name? This is Zap. Huh? Is Zap doing that? Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's a help. That's a good help. Try starting yeah. names, but it's hard to believe there's 19 more. I mean, there's a total of 19. We're going to be probably, like, what? They're probably just oh. these, and we just don't know their names. But yeah, I mean, there's, like, there's probably people on there I've never heard of. Yeah. I give up. <laughs> really feel like I'm reaching now. I'm just. I've been all over my keyboard coming up with different combinations and coming up with nothing. I'm, I'm just staring at books across the aisle here and <laughs> thinking of names. of. Like that two minute warning, Kevin. Yeah, I think it's Kevin. time. I think it's time. I like the fact that you got number 10 a lot because I think you're the only team. Yeah. That oh, got, yeah, that Troy was that was Troy. And and Troy was That's looking it. through her keyboard my, trying to figure out what letter would go in front of the word Carl to come. Oh, that was brilliant. I got it with no help from us. Yeah, just out of the blue. Well done. There was one team that was struggling with uh, Carl Malden. They, the guy, I know the guy, but I can't think of his name. Bob's <laughs> team. It was like the guy, the, the guy with the big nose on the on the and someone's going, Oh, Kojak, no, not that guy. And I was laughing. <laughs> I hope they got it, but I didn't go back and look. I'm not sure if Kyle Sagan's on the list. We but, aren't either, but we can't come up with yeah, them. I, yeah, I, I, I think he might be. I can't remember. I have the answers, but I can't remember if he's on the list. He should be. He should be if he's not. Yeah. Well, to be on the Hall of Fame, you have to buy it. Somebody has Should to pay Carl for House it. There's there's hmm. a couple of people named well you you already done right there's a couple yeah, of people done. named Gene Carlo but I don't know the other guy's name and there's a uh, Karloff Carl Malden there's another Carl with a K I can't think of who it is we're, we've kind of come to the conclusion that whoever it is that's on the list is probably people we haven't heard of a lot of them yeah I almost put an example like somebody named Richard Carlson I don't know who he is but he's on there. Hmm. Yeah, we could, put, have put it, we could have just put. I I almost put uh, like people like could be like a name like Kali Simon or Richard Carlson. I almost did that as a joke. There's actually a guy named Richard Carlson. I have no idea who he is. So on the Hall of Fame, it's music. And there's like four, four or five categories. There's there's music. There's movies. There's I think there's TV. There's live performances, and I think there's like live speech or something like that because Colin's under one called live speaking or something like that. Mm. Hmm. 
I think it costs like thirty-five grand or something like that. Fifty-five thousand. Fifty-five thousand dollars, and it, it gives you perpetual care for the star. Like if someone cracks it, they'll replace it and stuff. Mm -hmm. there are it probably was cheaper before, yeah. but that's what the current price. Oh that was my. hard. I'm glad. I'm glad I was on that team because they came up with it. But oh, that was tough. That was tough. Kevin, man, you made a tough thing. Partly, probably because I'm ready to fall asleep. So <laughs> yeah, there is that thing too. Carl knew. So how do you want to do this? How did Carl do? Well, he did. He did really good. He did. He's got a memory like you know yeah. memory. But well, there's, the, there's 19, Susan, and it's not Mono's rule, so it'll be easy. Right. Well, he's going to have to read them off. Troy came up with one you guys are going to be shocked at. Yeah. <sighs> Carlin, oh. Yay! Okay, so you guys go through the list and, and come up with your own score. Yeah. But say them, Kevin, for the listening audience. <laughs> Copy that. Oh, that's ridiculous. I said Richard Carlson and I said, no, he's too old. He wouldn't be on. Oh, some of these people I've never heard of. Kevin, okay. where, where are you from? I'm sorry, I'm putting loads of coffee. Okay. Kevin's on mute. Kevin, oh, John Carlo. Kevin, oh, I've been reading them out loud to myself. Kyle <laughs> 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 Blackwell. Frank okay, start Carl, at the beginning. George Carla, Carly Blackwell, Frankie Carl, George Carlin, Kitty Carlisle. Mary Carlisle, Richard Carlson, Yvonne DiCarlo. Oh, man. Giancarlo Esposito. Oh, Jim. Giancarlo oh. Gianni. Oh, no. Scarlett Johansson. Oh. Scarlett Johansson. Oh. Carl Lam Lamel. Oh. Carlton oh. E. Morris. Oh. Carl Reiner. Carlos Santana. Oh. Carl Smith. Carlton G. Young. Carl Dane, Boris Karloff, and Carl Malden. Ah, uh, no Carly Ray Jepsen. And no, no, and we no, had her too. Um, no the only one I came up with is not on here, and I came up with Carl Sagan. Yeah, yeah we did, did that too. Yeah. He's not on but the list. I want you guys to know he I'm, should so be on the list. I'm so proud of, of Troy. I'm so proud of all the people that should have a star. He should have a billion and billions of stars. Oh. Oh, that's that's good. We not get Yvonne DeCarlo. Oh, you yeah. never heard of him. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Didn't yeah, so Scarlett. Troy came Everybody up with it. Scarlett Johansson just out of the nice. blue. And she doesn't wow. even know who that is. Oh. <laughs> that was perfect. We were like, what? Yeah, Carl Weathers. Very good. I know. We had that too, list. Carl. We're like, where's Carl Weathers? We didn't have it, but if someone said it. Well, we I, think I Carl with a K should have a have one, but I'm not coming up with 55 grand. Sorry, Carl. <laughs> I thought it was Carl Esposito from Andrew Marina and didn't think of Carl Weathers. But to answer your question earlier, Scarlett Johansson is 38, according to Wikipedia. Uh, Reiner? Yeah, I thought she was younger, but I guess 38 yeah. is still young. And Carl Weathers wasn't there, right? No, nope. right. Not. So there's He's been around longer he than Giancarlo. So Troy, did you get the score for our team? Because I'm not three, looking. Three, four, yes. Five, okay. Six, but, uh, Carl Switzer's not there either. Three. Adrian, you have the score for our team. How does Scarlett Johansson six be a Scarlett? Scarlett. 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 Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. You know what? Did you guys, did you guys keep doing this where we go like mm, Carrie Fish? Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, I came up with Carol Burnett. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> well, we said spelling doesn't count, so you're going to drop the O. <laughs> I don't think so. It was Carl Burnett. Yeah. That was hard. Don't be doing this all the time. That was really hard. It was good. <laughs> I don't know. We if didn't you want to go there, to talk, you can go to that Walk of Fame. Go to, there's the, the website. You can search for C A R L and you see all the cars will come up. And then KRL, and you see all the Carls come up. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure everybody's going to have to take Lord. a turn looking through this damn thing. Yeah, um, I, I, I almost did Susan, but there wasn't enough. And I almost did Jane, and there was a, there was a few of those. And I said, uh, I'll do Kyle first, but I think once I do one, no one will want to do the others. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Just give us some time. Speaking no, of Terry Fisher, everybody's gonna look she's up their finally name now. getting hers. I'm looking Lord, up Susan's Lord. right now. <laughs> so um, I don't see Carl Perkins on there. 
and he does have a star according to the oh. inner tubes oh my list is wrong then call perkins he, he was on our list name. too and he was on our list i've only got five susans yeah that's why six I didn't susans do one two three four that's why five. i did kevin six. category i only came up with five so that's why i didn't do a kevin <sighs> one oh. so kyle perkins is supposed to be on there according to what i just pulled up he got a star on june 11 1996 Weird. Weird. That's missing from the Wikipedia page, too. Ah. I don't know. This was on. Um, there were some on? Wikipedia editors here uh, to fix that. Unless this was wrong. <laughs> I mean, know, you, know. you need a citation. Wrong. Yeah, right. Well, whatever it is, it's, 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 on, it's, on, it's on Pinterest. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, not, yeah, only yeah, can't trust that. The only Perkins <laughs> they have listed is Anthony Perkins. <laughs> well, and if this is their official so website, one, two, three, you would think that they would be the legitimate. Six place to go. Three. There's six categories and a miscellaneous on here. Right. But if you only pick, if you don't pick the category, it lists them all. Yeah. There's yeah. Live performance, motion, okay. picture, radio, scores. recording, scores. Scores. Oh my goodness, you kids. So is Carl yes. Perkins correct or not? No, oh, it's not on the list. No. No. Here. No. If That's you look weird. at the Wikipedia page for Carl Perkins, it does not list the words <laughs> Hollywood Walk or thing. Oh, we've got a per capita score now. Okay, yeah, let's see. Yeah. Did anybody our, our, else put Carly Rae Jepsen? No, we did. Yeah, we did. So our, our team was still grumbling about having only three people. So I did a per capita score there. So we'll see where we wind up. At 8.7. Right, right now we're in second second place per capita. Susan, before you do sports, you have next week sold up. Carl, what a good thing to ask. Gosh, you guys, we some people are always thinking. We do score. Mm. I have Jamie and I have Carl. Okay. You need to paste that into it. What's the question? Well, Gail, Anybody else to do a round next here. week? Gail I have. I am here. not have enough people for a round yep. next week. Gail oh. is not here, and she says she always has Canada categories. Are you Are you going to volunteer her? <laughs> I, I think Karen was volunteering to do a category. Isn't that what she was doing? Cat. Huh? Cats? Scat too. Yeah. That was a shitty category. <laughs> I could do the whole week if Jamie wants to move to the following week. Oh, yeah, there's an Ooh. idea. Jamie? Um, what was that? <laughs> Carl will do the whole, we'll do next week, the entirety of the evening if you will do two weeks from next oh that's uh, that's up to you guys oh let's see i want to make sure i'm here where is gail she um she had an air conditioner which was fixed but they released some free out of the air and it gave her a bad headache oh ooh, ew yeah. fumes from the from the freon yeah so she's, nasty yeah she has a very bad headache today um, is she home? Yeah, she's home. Yeah. I don't think we're allowed to use Freon up here. Okay, Are you going to be around May 11th? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, thank you so much for doing that. That way I don't have to fight these people to give me a... I'm okay. going to probably do one here soon. I've got to just sit down and write my category. Yep. So yeah, because me... you're not busy enough, Susan. Put me I'm down. not. I'm not that busy. Rob, you want the next one after that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go back to schools. Thank you. Thank Carl. you, Carl, for making me think of that because I completely forgot. Um. Okay. Here we are. So some people are doing much better than others. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> and that's fine. Down. Everybody gets a trophy. Put me down for a bonus in two weeks. I'm gonna do Hollywood stars named Mono. <laughs> <laughs> With mono, uh, mono rules. Rule. Mono rules. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So drinking and playing pool. What is your score? Look at that. Per kappa score is three point five. You guys. I hope you did. We well. got six. <laughs> this. This is your. Brain on drugs. This is your trivia on booze. <laughs> Pretty much, huh? Okay. Yes. So, um, all right. Two bobs and a bin. Three. No four. Oh. Ooh. 
We got four. Did I miss one? Um, no, you're right. Three. Yeah. I think we only got three because Carl Sagan and Carl Weathers weren't on there. Nine point seven no, and no, you got a three. No, we got no, we got four. If you count George Carlin, Carl yeah, Ryan, I, Harris, Carl Ross, Carl How Malden. Was it they have a oh, ten. Carl Malden. Did I miss Carl Malden? Yeah, Rob. Yeah. Okay. How does this and George, work? And George Carlin. Yeah. What? Uh, this, how does this it's work if many, they've got a 10? Because uh, they don't have a 10 of average. 30 divided, divided by, by three. On your team. How many yeah, people I, is your team yep, divided by four your Four is correct. Thank you, Bob. I had Carl. Per person with the, on the team? With the C instead of the That's K. That's what per Sorry, capita Carl. means, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Rob, some people were like dropping in and out. Well, we yeah, can't figure we, that out. I mean, some people well, add, some people drop. Then we can't it's, use the per capita score. It's just the total Yeah, number. I think that per capita score sucks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just let you know that that's a bad. Yeah, when you, when you win the category, you'll say, oh, oh I like it now. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Fox yeah. News is plum yeah. tuckered out. I want to see how it plays it. Six. Six? Yeah, that's what I got. Yep. Okay, so what do Don and Tucker have in common? Six. Okay, and Springer has sprung. Nine. Oh, oh. 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 you scooped it out even for a <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I have to do. Team. I have to do the victory yell. Yoo hoo! We got last <laughs> place. Yeah. Did you get last place again? Oh, uh, hush. Oh, you got second golf. Place. He's a winner. <laughs> He's a winner. He's playing golf. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So next week is all Carl. My team is coming up. The Carl game. So. So so wait a minute. That means Carl can't be on the winning team next week. Oh. <laughs> no, not at all. That's good. Because you get me. Uh, now you want to do a per capita. <laughs> it's been a blast everybody thank you very much right. bye vincent yeah, okay so good. anybody wants to stay and minutes, hear about so. the psychics go but everybody else go if you don't want to hear about I'm, I'm i want to hear asleep. i want to hear but i gotta go i'm psychic i already heard it all <laughs> good night everybody okay. it's not staying Bye. good night everybody i want to hear the cheese made cheese made cheese made. i i know a lot of it already but i still want to hear it <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm falling bed. asleep too. But good night, everybody. Good night, Ben. Ben. I'm also falling asleep, but I'm staying for the cheese man. I, I, I know, I totally. Wait to see who's and, this, and this part's not going to be recorded either, is it? No. no. Dang it. Um, Moving right along with the bonus round. Bonus, bonus round. We're done with the bonus round. The game <laughs> is over. <laughs> <laughs>